assholes. I got to jump in really fast here because, yes, we are doing the homeless shopping spree today. Oh, it well, if we didn't do it, the terrorists win. That's right. That's, That's the only reason right. we are alive today because if we weren't going to do the homeless shopping spree, we would have just thrown a, a worst of on and got the hell out of uh, right. out of here for a couple of days. Mm. Keep the cop in studio. What What's the latest here? Ten top-notch homeless people for the homeless shopping spree this year. Uh, Keith, I have to congratulate you and, yes, applaud you for uh, selecting these homeless. <laughs> they are some of the most despicable bits of wasted humanity I have ever seen in my life. And the smell coming off of them. I walk in here, and p d d does anyone... D have you been listening to the show... Do people know me? Did they think a clone Anthony walked in here? The first thing I was offered was a slice of pizza from a box that was sitting out there that the homeless were dining from. They were pretty much gnawing at the box. I, I ran the to the office. Ran to the office. I saw you. Ordered a sandwich. Yeah. And then from the office to the, the studio, yeah. I ran with my sandwich like a football player. <laughs> I was holding it and, and kind of trying to make my way through into the, uh, the uh, you studio. You did great here. impressions on this show. I didn't realize you could do the impression of the Heisman Trophy. I was doing the Heisman. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Have my is. sandwich in my <laughs> hand. <laughs> well, we're loading the bus. Ben is downstairs. We're going to the Palisades Mall, the Palisades Center Mall in West Nyack. That's uh, 1000 Palisades Center Drive. Hoping that a lot of our pests and army members and fans of this fine program help the homeless shop this uh, this day. You know, Opie, even though they are despicable, stinky messes, they do need help. That's right. And uh, no one's giving them help. No one's out. They're out on the street. Uh, no one's giving them help. This year, we're giving them some money, uh, transportation to a, a nice mall, and we'll get them some of that uh, winter clothing they need, whatever they need. Once again, the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. Uh, ben is outside loading the bus. Ben. Hey guys, I'm, I'm bad on when we are uh, going to get evicted from our building. We just mortified the people in the hallways and in the elevator with the Hulk guy and the smell. Some poor guy from the Economist looked like he's going to puke when he got off the elevator. But we're loading the bus and uh, almost ready to set off. What kind of bus is it uh, there, Ben? It's a nice luxury bus, about 60 seats. We just uh, put all the homeless in the back, and uh, we're waiting for Tippy Tom and the other guys, and we're going to set off. Golden Buns! Yeah, Golden Buns is uh, growing his winter beard. I didn't even yeah. recognize him. That ratty mess on his face. It might actually be a rat. Uh, on his face. You gotta see this guy, Santa. He's calling himself uh, Santa. He has a Santa hat on and this beard. I thought the beard was fake, but it's real. Yeah. And someone said his beard stinks. Of course it, it does. It smells so bad. Think of what he's eating out of a dumpster. Here's the lineup, by the way, if you're gonna join us at the Palisades Center Mall in West Nyack, 1000 Palisades Center Drive. Already listeners up there waiting for the bus, by the way. We have Tippy Tom, better known as Golden Buns. We have Gray Wolf. Who will talk to you about the second half of his song, by the way. He finished it up. Yeah. The song ends with Tippy Tom dying under a, under a street... Uh, Are you kidding? Under a street lamp, whatever. And then, Who uh, saw that coming? And then the angels come by and help him out and bring him to heaven. We also have Spoon. We have half a Hulk face. He'll, he's going to be doing some shopping at the Palisade Half Center a Hulk Mall. face. Uh, Jose, who is the, the creepy wolf beard guy that likes to jerk off in, uh, in, in public a lot. Right. He's a, he's a real problem, actually. Then we have Angel. We have this girl, Tina, that we don't know anything about, a guy named James. We have this black guy that's calling himself Rudolph. And finally, that Santa character. Santa with the big beard. That's right. Isn't that wonderful? Ben, what else is going on? That Santa guy's fucking nuts. He's talking about the world's going to end, and he's screaming and yelling outside now, so we're going to have to control him. He's completely out of his fucking mind. So we're loading the bus. We're waiting for Tippy Tom, and we'll get going. All right, Ben, thanks. We'll check in with these guys, obviously, as uh, they make their way to the Palisades Center Mall in West Nyack. We are live. It's Tuesday, whatever fucking day it is, just to prove it. Uh, what day is today? Yeah, you're not listening oh, to... Oh, December uh, 20th, right? And you're not listening to a replay from this morning. We are doing this uh, in the afternoon, Eastern time. It is 3.17 p.m. on the East Coast. On the East Coast. But now when they hear this in the replay, they're like, you fucked me up. Like, now like I, you don't, it is a like replay. Like you don't know. Yeah, deal uh, with it. Let's go to Jack at the Palisades Mall in West Nyack. Jack, what's up? What's up, guys? Hey. Hey, man. It's getting, it's getting a little loony over here with the cops, man. Why? I don't know. They're starting to mount up. They're actually looking fucking busy here for once. Oh, really? These over, overpaid cocksuckers. Really? 
All right. Yeah, I think they're actually looking at the tolls. There's about five or six in the front end of the mall, unmarked cop cars. Yeah. And, you know, a couple here and there just moving around. And those fat-ass security guards are actually moving their asses for once. So you I, I don't right. know what kind of crowd we're going to get today. i got to be honest with you, because with the transit strike, everyone is screwed up today. A lot of yeah. people didn't yeah, think we were going to do this today. I don't care as long as the homeless get to shop. Right. In that mall, and uh, there's nothing they can do about it. we got to hear from the listeners that are heading to the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. Uh, maybe a, a, a meeting area for all the pests and mm -hmm. the Army members so they could uh, gather and uh, cheer the bus on when they finally arrive. Support the homeless. Maybe uh, we had, last time we did this, we had some of the listeners doling out some of their own cash. No, that's right. Uh, even though the the homeless are getting what? How much are we giving them? Two hundred and two dollars. Two hundred and two. What a coincidence! That corresponds to the uh, channel number we're on. That's right. What a hack radio bit I that understand. is. I, I think we might have a pretty good crowd today, just because a lot of people said "fuck it" as far as you know, trying to get into the city. Stayed home from work. I went to get to the the papers this morning. It was just a sea of people walking downtown. Yeah, they're all walking across the bridges and and just. Annoying pedestrians when you try to make a right or a left turn off one of these streets. Yuck. Sidecar. Yeah, so pardon me while I'm gagging from the smell of this bus. Yeah, the smell is uh, really, really bad. Yeah. Really bad. It's just starting to clear out a little from here. I'm spraying a little Lysol uh, here in the studio. Yeah. Well. You want some there, Jimmy? Yeah, please. Get that seat. All right, so All right we're, we're, we're getting on the bus. We'll be pulling out in about two minutes. I, I just wanted to give you a call <laughs> and let you know we're going to be on our way, and things are going smooth so far. All right. We got that Santa Claus guy that's like GQ in a sports coat. We got, we got a few gems. Yeah. All right, make sure you guys uh, call us to let us know where the bus is because we got a lot of listeners that want to follow you right up to the uh, the the Palisade Center Mall there. All right, we'll be, be departing in 30 seconds, and we'll keep you updated. All right, thank you, Kenny. All right, feel me good. Uh, Kenny, video. Kenny, yeah. Do yeah. You, are you listening to uh, XM on that bus? Hey, does anybody have a thing? Uh, what, what do you call that? I don't have one. Uh, uh, a, a brain. A, a bra <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have a MiFi or is anybody on that bus listening? MiFi. Um. Wait. Yeah, we got a Pioneer Airwear. That's it. You would think that maybe some of our guys would bring their MiFi so they could keep uh, track of the show today. I mean, it's not being broadcast <laughs> on the bus. It's not why he's asking. Yeah, it's not being broadcast on the bus, right? No, obviously not. No. Okay. All obviously right. Thank not. you, Kenny. Uh, now we can address this. <laughs> it has to be. It has to be addressed. Why? What? I don't want to. Believe me, it's painful for me to have to address this, but it's got to be addressed. It does because. You know, it, it happens too often, yeah. and it's 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 just it's one of those things that has to be addressed. What happened? Look, <sighs> look, we all like Big Kev, right? We all like Big Kev. You're going there? I have to. Holy shit, dude, dude, you're, I have to. You're blowing up his spot. It's not a spot to blow up. Holy Everyone is freaking shit. out. Everyone's freaking out. Holy crap! Every it's not a secret. I'm Except to him, this is going to solve a problem. I'll be honest, I'm relieved because when you said we have to address something, I'm sitting there like big saucer eyes, like, uh oh, no, yeah, he's going to call me out on you. something. I thought I was no. getting booted. From yeah, the exactly. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> we're, we're, all, we're, yeah, Jimmy and I are looking around. You know, we're feeling kind of confident, but not really. <laughs> and then, you, all right, go ahead. It's because it's all whispering and everything's going around and stuff like that, and it's just got to be brought out. All right, uh, Kev has. Uh, uh, no sense of smell. That's what it is. He right. doesn't. It's a medical thing. He's talked about it on, on the air a few times. Which means he has no sense of taste, by the way. Which means really? how do you eat so many cupcakes when you can't taste them? Well, oh, I thought. Why not just mash up carrots and eat them? I thought that explained what he wears every day. <laughs> he had, the, he had the, the surgery and he has lost a lot of weight. Yes, over, he has. Over so for the, the new listeners, you got to explain that. I was talking to Kevin before the show today. He was close to 600 pounds when we first met him. Yep. He's yeah. now down to 320. Giant. I believe. Giant. And he's getting uh, two operations to get the excess skin removed, which I think is part of what you're going to bring Maybe up. Maybe part of an issue right, that's go going on. Uh, so since he has no sense of smell, uh, uh, he's not able to really get a sense of what uh, he, he is 
emitting uh, nice. at certain times. And there are certain days he comes in here, uh, today being one of them, that it's not that pleasurable to be in his company as cranky far ass. as my uh, sense of smell goes. Yes, cranky Your, your ass. olfactory senses. My olfactory. And mine. Yes, it is, uh, it is what is uh, called cranky ass yes. sometimes. You just get a little sweaty. You get a little thing. Hey, we've all had our, our, our times. I know sometimes I sit in here and I'm sweating and I know perhaps I, you know, should maybe, you know, psh, psh, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You're like getting hot. Sometimes uh, it's 110 degrees in this fucking studio. A little B.O. never hurt anyone. And I'll it plaster everybody. I'll plaster my arms down, run for my coat and get the fuck out of here as quickly as possible. Why would you care? If I had, if, believe me, if my pits stink, I'm fucking raising my arms and walking by every one of you creeps. <laughs> not, only, <laughs> not only raising your, your arms, you would get the fan out. Yeah, we just fucking <laughs> flop a little like I was doing the bird. With that. And with all due respect and with all due friendship. And I, I, I'm so uncomfortable with it that that's the reason. If anyone ever asks, well, why don't you just say it off the air or something? Because I'm too uncomfortable to face somebody and say it off the so air. Now I'm a big pussy. Now he's hearing this during the replay. It'll get back to him. He's going to hear this during the replay. It'll get back so to him. Just say what you got to say. A, but you don't want to say it privately. You're I think I did. doing it in front of the entire country. Yeah, I think I just did. That's a hell of a friend, i got to tell you. I think I just did. I just I just. You know that was it, and and when you look in the fucking monkey cage over there that the, the our our producers and various staff are in, the second I even mentioned it, they their heads were bobbing up and down. The fucking bobblehead dolls in there. Mentioned what? Uh, Kev. Yes. Hi, Kev. Hi. Hi. Is uh, there a problem? There was an issue. <laughs> Two times ago when you came in, and uh, then this time today, okay. there is sort of a... Um, now, I know you have no sense of smell, right? That's true. That's why you're on the bus today. Uh-huh. Because you're one of those that doesn't have to really deal with the homeless people. Sitting next to Tom eating egg salad. <laughs> it doesn't matter to him. Right. It doesn't matter to him. <laughs> But um, there's been there's been uh, there's been talk around the studio, and okay. and we just want to bring it to your attention so that the problem can be solved and everything. Mind okay. you, this all was... due friendship, Hold all due on. respect. Hold on. Hold on, mind you, it wasn't talk amongst all of us. It was one it person was talking. To... No, it was. <laughs> there so, has been. So basically, Anthony said what? <laughs> Anthony, I Anthony no. for once brought this to everyone's attention. I pretty much stayed out of it okay look you stayed out of it but it's there's just oh my god why uh, <laughs> look, um yes anthony i i i you know you know yeah you're my friend kev oh, okay and uh normally i guess this would be a face-to-face -face thing but i am really too much of a pussy to actually uh, come out and face to face uh, say something, but okay. there there is kind of a a fragrance, I guess, uh -huh. that was coming off of you that was a, a little well, J Jimmy, uh, help me out here. He stinks and I don't like him. No, that isn't true. That isn't true. Okay. Yeah, I I just wanted you to know. Um, there, there, if, if that's true, I... It smells like... It smells like... I love and, the smell uh, they come in the morning. Yes? I assure you there's a, uh, there's an explanation. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that doesn't have to be something public. No. All right. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So, <laughs> I, I apologize. Are, are you sure? It was, uh... It was me and not anyone else. Uh, uh, see, see, look, these motherfuckers over there nodding their heads. Uh, there's, yeah. There's five people nodding their heads in the other room. And Bill is throwing his shoulders up like he didn't know. It was a little rough to narrow it down with a lot of the homeless in here today. Okay. But, um, but, well, uh, thank you for bringing it to my attention. I would. And like I said, if I, I wasn't say such a pussy... I uh, I would have uh, said something in, in private. But it's not like these little co-conspirators that are right. sitting there fucking saying shit. Well, it's really easy for everybody else just to kind of sit back and not say anything while letting you do the heavy lifting. Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I, I assure you there's a, there's an explanation. Well, we had speculated. 
and, uh, and and it has, has to do with a, an upcoming yes. surgery. Yes, it, yes, it does. Yeah, there's, okay. Uh, some, there's some preparations that are happening, and uh, uh, yeah. that that may be involved. That's what was speculating. And although we only... I can't I can't identify it exactly because I like you said I, I have no way of telling myself. That's a tough fucking nut. No sense of smell. Yes. That's rough. All right, there it is. There okay. it is. Well, Problem uh, solved, you. people. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I, I apologize. All right. Uh, no need. All right, big Kev. Okay. Take care. Bye. Oh, Jesus, Anthony. Uh, Nathaniel. Well, I, I, you know, I needed to clear the air. I just wish, <laughs> I had, wish I had more balls instead of just sitting here nodding quietly. Now... Let me also bring up the fact that is why Jimmy was fucking miserable when he walked in. Oh, really? Did you see Jimmy's face when he walked in? Yeah. He was fucking miserable. He comes in like, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, and then he keeps looking over and looking at me and going, oh, Jesus God, God, fuck, God. No, it was a transit strike. I was so mad. Shut up. There are people walking to work today, and that bothers me. All right, Nathaniel, you on the bus me. with the homeless. <laughs> All right. I am a fucking Mary. <laughs> Where are you guys? We're on the bus, obviously, and we're still uh, still in Manhattan. All right, wait. I want to hear Gray Wolf. He's playing his flute, obviously. Gray, Gray Wolf's jamming. Here we go. Silent night, by the way. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sounds like Christopher Reeve playing the lung machine. <laughs> I hope this is the last thing they hear before they plunge into the Hudson River. <laughs> <laughs> to their icy deaths. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> nice to hear cavalry so charge on top of that, just it's, shooting. It's a haunting scene, really. Yeah. I don't doubt it's haunting. Hey, we got a lot of listeners checking in already. They want to know where you guys going to be uh, in the mall, like where are you guys going to pull up to. So if you guys can figure that out and let us know, that would be great. All right, we'll come up with a battle plan. All right. Uh, do you want to say hi to Tom? I mean, yeah, yeah, let's say hi to Tippy Tom. You won't actually be talking to him because I can't give him a call. But, uh, All right. So, so to speak. Hey, Tom. Tom. Oh, you. All right. Tom. You're fucking bad. You want to say hi to the, the radio show? My sidecar, Kenny. Is Kenny's like... really taking charge Hello. in there. Hello. Uh, anybody around? Hey, Tibby Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, hey, nobody. Tibby Tom. Tom. Oh, anyway, I'm just going to say hello and uh, thank you so much for giving me another good time like you did last year. Wow. And uh, I'm still having a good time. And uh, let's do it again next year. Yeah, okay. you know something? This and, coherency um, that you're hearing will uh, change. Oh, yeah. 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 They got their medicine. Yeah, wink, wink. Is there medicine there? Hey, they Kenny. got medicine. Hey, Kenny, what's going on? I heard you cursing somebody out already. Yeah. Yeah, because fucking Grey Wolf is playing fucking the pan flute. I'd rather sit in a tub and fucking split my wrist. And Kenny, Kenny, what? courtesy, professionalism, respect. No, I respect. I'm not. I'm not Master Paul who wanted to put these people in the freight elevator. I treat them with respect. <laughs> so that's the first good idea I've heard out of him. Yeah, yeah. that's not a bad idea. Uh, yeah. And cut hey, the listen. cable. <laughs> hey, Kenny, Just leave it closed. No food. No water. <laughs> like a box car, <laughs> Kenny. Yes, sir. Get the whole bus to do a little sing-along to get into yeah. the room for the homeless oh, shopping yeah. spree as you head to the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. Perhaps three coins in a fountain? All right, first of all, I have to compliment and congratulate you for telling Big Heavy Stinks. Thank you. Why do you say that, Kenny? Yeah, Kenny, why? Because he does. Yeah, there was there's something going on, but we've, All right. we've taken care of it. All right, listen. <laughs> we got to sing a Christmas carol for the radio. You know Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Oh, there's a good one. Right, on three. Uh -oh. Ready? One, two, three. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Wishful thinking. <laughs> Can you hear that? Yeah. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. Uh, Kenny, where are you guys right now? Uh, we're making our way across town. And we're, believe me, we, we, we got a good bus driver. He knows how to make moves. Oh. All right. Well, exact, hey. exactly where are you? Because listeners want to follow you guys. This top bus driver is driving like the cops are chasing him. Uh-oh. <laughs> where exactly are we? What's the location? Keith, what's the location? We stopped outside 
Essex House. Central Park. Central Park. Or Central Park by the Essex House. Uh, Central Park South by the mm -hmm. Essex House. Okay. All right, we'll call you back. Yeah, they're not going to make it to the mall until, God, 4.30 no. probably. John, Pearl River, what's up? Listen, I just uh, leaving the Bronx, heading up to uh, the Palisade Center myself. All right. Major traffic report, Major Deegan's a straight shot. Major All the way up. No traffic, nobody on it. Oh, thanks for that help, John. And listen, tell Keith he's the only cop in New York City who didn't have to work today. I broke my ass for 10 hours directing traffic. And that stuck is out of us having fun. Yeah, how does he swing that? Yeah, I, I want to know how he swung that. That's nice. Every goddamn cop is working except Keith. All right, I, I need the pest to check in. I need them to tell me where uh, everyone's gathering at the mall so we could uh, figure this out. It's a huge mall, and, and people are kind of uh, wandering around in the parking lot right now. We need a center location. If someone knows that mall and has a good idea, give us a call, okay? <clears throat> Let's say hi to John at the mall. Uh, John. Hey, what's going on, guys? Listen, what? I'm at the mall. Uh, I'm trying to find uh, if there's a gathering of pests anywhere in here. Yeah, the problem is that it's like kind of like, uh, you know, hitting... Kicking an anthill, everyone's just kind of going yeah, their own every, ways. Yeah. If everyone can get together and say, like, meet at Dave and Buster's or something, they could at least have a spot where we're at. Hmm. Well, I don't know the mall at all. Someone has to help no. us out with that. I would think, uh, well, the parking lot might be a problem. Security will probably, you know, kick out, out before you get to gather. Oh, yeah, it's obviously cold out there. All right, we'll figure it out. Just keep listening to the show. All right, thanks, man. All right, bro. Please. All right. Why don't we take our first break, Anthony? It's the homeless shopping spree. Yes. 2005. They're just leaving Manhattan as we speak. Uh, they'll be at the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. That's mm -hmm. 1000 Palisade Center Drive in West Nyack, New York. Join them. Join them, yes. Uh, let's say hi to Rick in New York before we go to break. Rick? Hey, what's up? Hey, Rick. What's up, boys? Hey, what's Rick. up? Um, a woman that I work with, her husband is on the uh, force. Yeah. There in uh, near Palisades, and um, they're waiting for you, boys. It's nothing wrong with what we're doing. It's not like hey, I I agree with you completely. <laughs> and I'll be leaving work shortly because I live right down the mall. We're, we're announcing a bank robbery or something. <laughs> they're waiting for you. Being nice to actual homeless people, the <laughs> jigs up. Yeah, they can't figure this one out. We're actually being nice to the homeless. Yeah, regardless of how much we really don't like them and they stink. Uh, all right, uh, we're kind of being nice to them. No, right. I, I agree, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be following right along. All right, thank you. All right, boys. Bye. Later. Let's go to Mike. He's at the mall. Mike, what's up? <clears throat> uh, hey, I'm uh, pulling up into the mall now, Yeah. and there is no spot for anything. Okay. So uh, I'm just trying to look around. The best spot might be right in front in front of uh, Staples because that's the entrance to the carousel in the food court. You know, I'm thinking uh, where everyone should meet is the Ferris wheel. Oh, yeah? The mall has a Ferris wheel, right? I've never been there. I hear the mall has a Ferris wheel. Yes, it does. It has rides. <laughs> All right, that's the that's the perfect location for the pests and the army and the fans of uh, the Opie and Anthony show to meet. Okay. The All right, I'll try to I'll try to secure an area for everybody. Thank you. It's the Ferris wheel at the Palisade Center Mall. That's where everyone is going to be hanging, waiting for the homeless. Okay. Right. All right. Uh, let's go to Chris on Long Island. Chris. Hey, oh, and hey, it's uh, Chris from Livewire. Hey, Chris. Hey, man. Hey, do me a favor. Can you have whole, half a whole face get his ear pierced today? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's good. Is there a video him camera him. there? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, take him to some kind of a jewelry store and uh, have him get his ear pierced. <laughs> what a horror show that was. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. Oh. And a makeover. He has to get a makeover. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be really fun if he walked in with a paint roller and asked for a makeover. <laughs> a makeover? Uh, a makeover. Yeah, I just I cut letters out to make it faster. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Pierce his ear and okay. inadvertently hit his shoulder. <laughs> It's the Homeless Shopping Spree. We're live today. It's Tuesday, December 20th. It's like uh, 3.37, just to prove Eastern. it, on, on the East Coast here. And uh, the bus is filled with the homeless. Yes, it is. We'll get an update after the break to see where they're at, but they're heading to the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. Homeless Shopping Spree 2005. If you're going to the mall, meet at the Ferris Wheel. The Opie and Anthony. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony program. Jesus. It's the Homeless Shopping Spree. The bus is going to be at the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. Hopefully. We just found out that they're going... What? They went um, They went up uh, Madison, Hold which on. is they're probably on. the worst place to go. They're on the line right now. Let's no see. Let it snow. Who's this? This is Danny, guys. What's up, man? Danny, where are you guys right now? 
We're on the road. We're still in the city. We're heading towards. Uh, we're heading out of the city. All right. <laughs> could, could we ask a pertinent question here? Sure. Um, why did the bus driver choose to go up Madison through the heart of Manhattan during a transit strike instead of going west, right to the West Side Highway, and up like the Henry Hudson to just get the fuck out of this city? Uh, that's an excellent question. I, I can't answer that. Uh, the driver is uh, black. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. <laughs> why don't you go ask him why the why is he going through Manhattan to go? Does he have to go to 87? I don't know how to get to Nyack. Maybe that's the fastest way. Yeah, where yeah I, I, I did hear that number uh, thrown about. So. Ask, ask him where he's heading to right now. Hey, where are we heading to right now? Like what highway? What highway? To uh, the GWB to, I believe, 87. Why would you go that way to the... Oh, my God. Yeah, you could take the West Side Highway. Why didn't he take... Ask him why he didn't take the West Side yeah, Highway. Yeah, ask him that. Why Danny? are we not on the West Side Highway? I'm not getting a response. Is the bus <laughs> not getting a response? Could you get your arm and, you know, the crook of your uh, elbow? Put yes, it around his throat and snap his neck as he drives? <laughs> I would love to. Ask him why. Is the bus moving? Yeah, well, right, right, right now. All right, like, where are you exactly? Uh, let me see. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're on Broadway and like 70 something. Incompetent buffoons. Can't he make a left All right, wait, at wait, some wait. point and get on to. They're on Broadway. Yeah, not Madison. Well, Ken, Kenny's arguing with him right now. All right, hold on. So they're not going to Fifth Ave. All right, if they're on Broadway, that's still the west side of uh, Manhattan. That's okay. Yeah, yeah but they, could, they could get on the west side highway. At yeah, 70. that's where we're headed. All right, all right. That's just, where we're headed. All right, you scared the shit out of me. All right, so you'll take a left on uh, 72nd to the west side yeah, highway. Right. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, make sure they do that. D Don Wicklin's going, I don't know, they're at, they're Madison at Madison. Madison. Fifth. I'm like, Madison? That would be that would be death to oh, the bit. forget about it. It would not happen today. Might All right, well Danny, what's going island. on, man? Well, the Christmas spirit is alive and well on the bus, uh, and I think the guys want to sing a song for you. I think they want to sing some Jingle Bells. All right, let's Whoa. hear the whole. Let's sing some more Christmas songs. You guys ready to sing Jingle Bells? Yeah. Yeah, come on, let's sing Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. Hey. <laughs> cool. All right, listen. <laughs> all, right. all right, listen. Jingle bells, Kevin. What? <laughs> you gonna do it all day? Shut up. Guys, I, all I can say is that I miss, uh, I miss Vicky. All right, and uh, all right. What else is going on on the bus? Anything Thank to you. report? Uh, just a lot of drinking. Uh, of of uh, uh, soda of, pop, of, of soda uh, pop, and ice, uh, and and ice water. Uh, no, actually, eggnog and a little eggnog, uh, uh, hot chocolate. Right, that is correct, sir. And what? Cocoa. Hot cocoa. Hot <laughs> cocoa. That's how we say it here. Hot cocoa. What a coincidence. <laughs> Coco is driving the bus. <laughs> you have to sign to him. West Side Highway. Stupid. All right. <laughs> wait, wait. Someone is saying don't go over the GWB. Let's go to John in New York. John, what's up? Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, John. Listen, I hope they're not going up the GW Bridge today. Why? Why? I'll stick. What? John? Why, John? Why, John? <laughs> go, go. John! Little Jimmy Norton, what's going on, sweet cheek? Oh, Sir? my God, I want to shoot well, you in the head. Well, hold on, let's get to the point. What's going on? Uh, Tower Theater, New Year's Eve. <laughs> Jimmy Norton will be at Tower Theater, New Year's Eve. <laughs> no, no, dude, dude, why should they go over the GW? Yeah, why should they go over the GW? Do not go over the GW. Oh, my God. Why? Why? Why are you going to get traffic from Palisades? That's why. There's traffic everywhere, my friend. What are they Yeah, well, to do? that's what you get for having a strike, too. Hit the fucking uh, tunnel. What were they supposed to do? There's traffic there, too. There's five ways off of this fucking rock. Yeah, and every one of them. Good luck. Today. All right, thank you. I saw All the right. DWB in the traffic, guys. and it wasn't that bad. Shadabuka has a great point, by the way. Shadabuka, what's up? Boys, boys, how are you today? Good. Yeah, I got a, I got a, actually a request on what have I learned today. Yeah. I wanted to see if you can do that, uh, what's that, a train guy from uh, a few years back, if you still have that. That's not what it, it says on the comments here. The callers are so caught up. You know what? I quality can... callers are on strike also. They're supporting the <laughs> transit workers. The quality callers are picketing this show, and these are scab callers. I control the callers. <laughs> You're not supposed to change what you wanted to talk about when you go live. You had a great little comment. Right. Well, you wanted to say right homeless now. are riding buses today, and we can't? 
Ah. That's a great that's comment. No, oh, I'm the one that controls well, There's a transit strike in New York City, and the only people on a bus right now are smelly homeless people. Right. See, that would have been a good line. But the one that you said, stunk on ice. Fuck, Dick. We hate you. We hate you. Keith the cop. What's up, Keith? Hey, what's going on? Hey, Here it uh, is. Maybe somebody that'll make sense. Yes, sir? I bailed off the bus and I've commandeered the XM van. Okay. So oh, you had to leave the bus? The homeless are now running amok by themselves on the bus. <laughs> well, isn't uh, Club Soda in there? Club Soda's in there trying to maintain order, but... Uh, He's he miserable. Looks like, <laughs> he looks miserable in the back. I see him in the rearview mirror. Keith, why did you leave the bus? Well, we had to... Uh, Make all make all way with the XM van. We ran into a couple of snafus that I had to correct. Yeah, all right. So we're back in business. Corrected. All right, where are you guys right now? <laughs> we are uh, on Seventy Second Street, working our way to the West Side heading, Highway. Yeah, we're going to head north eventually. Homeless shop experience happening as we speak. They're going to be at the Palisades Center Mall, hopefully by uh, four thirty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Palisades Center Mall in West Nyack, and uh, we're encouraging the PES and the ONA Army to meet at the first wheel if you're joining us this year for the homeless shopping spree. <clears throat> right. All right, Keith. All right, see you a little bit. Thank you. Holy no shit! Problem. Bye. What a what a bunch of morons. A minister of morons. I don't understand it. Big Jewish tits. Oh. Hey guys. Hey. Cool. Um, I think the uh, homeless should be treated to a uh, nice, relaxing massage at one of those little kiosks. Oh, oh, oh my God, is that God? Great. There is another bang up idea, my friend. You know those little uh, kiosks, and they have the uh, the massage bench, yep. and you have to put your face in that little thing. <laughs> <laughs> and they ha they have to touch you. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Oh, is that horrid? <laughs> oh, is Big Kev going to be Bunch confused for one of the homeless today, you oh, think? Oh, Jesus. The mall? <laughs> <laughs> now I'll jump on. What the hell? Now you yeah, <laughs> pile yeah. on. Pile on. Okay. Hope he's the last guy that jumps on and digs an elbow in the pile. Yeah. <laughs> As the Pac-Man sound is playing at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to be on top of the pile instead of being on the bottom exactly. of the pile like I usually am. Can't take the first uh, hit. Uh, Thin, what's up? Uh, what's up, man? I think we finally have a battle plan for once we, uh, get ah. to the mall. All right, what's right. that? And we are going to the Circuit City entrance. Circuit City entrance, really? Yeah. Okay. That, that's sort of the main entrance. That's where the Ferris wheel is, so we have lots of fun. Goody. All right. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. You don't want to know what's going on. All and right. somebody had the idea of the homeless getting a massage when they went there in one of those little kiosks? I think we could get somebody to rub down. All right, very good. And, and the pests and the uh, and the fans, they can meet at the first wheel if you're bored right now and start gathering. Yep. What else is going on, fan? They're uh, they're actually pretty mild mannered right now. A little disappointed. <laughs> That's all right. The medicine hasn't kicked in yet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I hear some of them uh, take some medication and uh, right. that changes their personality That's a bit. That's right. That's hey, right. Fan, how, how big how big is the uh, Ferris wheel? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How are you holding up uh, with the um, the smell smell in there? Well, was there? I don't. I wasn't listening. Was there an intervention going on earlier? Uh, yes, you could call it an intervention. Yes. All right. So it's sort of like a, a dueling thing going on. <laughs> really? They're but, fighting it out. Yeah. It all depends on you know what row you're in. <laughs> all right. Make sure you get all the homeless people on the Ferris wheel for one special ride. Okay. All right, then. Anything uh, happens, calls back. You got it, man. Thank you. Bye. Oof. Bye. A lot of people want to know why Jimmy's not on the bus. Jimmy got arrested last time. Yeah, he yeah got Jimmy got arrested on a bus. Uh, spent a night in jail because of a bus. Jimmy does not like homeless people. Does not like smells. I've already gone on one of these, and they stunk. Yep. And uh, that's exactly why. Jimmy doesn't do uh, this. Ex uh, Jimmy doesn't even. Jimmy is fancy. All right. right. You're a fancy man. I'm a gentleman. Let's go to Bill in New York. Bill. Hey, how are you doing, guys? All hey, right, Bill. I'm a transport workers union uh, bus driver on strike, and I want you to know this was done in honor so we could all be there at Palisades Mall. Yeah. I live up in, I live up in Rockland County. Let me tell you something. We first of all, the leader of our union, Rachi Toussaint, is a fucking idiot. All right, it's good he's to hear one of you guys say it. Dude. Hey, he's a fucking idiot. He's a black guy. The last good leader of the union was a white guy to start with. So that that's a problem. I work at a fucking <laughs> depot. I work Brooklyn and Queens. Jesus. And, hey, believe me, fucking niggers and specs are the only oh, thing that boy. union. Oh, I know. I'm going straight to hell for that. Fuck them all. Well, dude, what is the exact sticking point with the with the MTA contract in the union? Like, is there, like, one point where they're just going no? 
Well, from what the idiots in our leadership tell us, it's an 8% raise spread out over three years. Right. The, M the MTA can certainly afford that, but the MTA can also do a lot better with their management. They are horribly mismanagement. If they were public, a private agency, they'd go broke in two minutes. They would have... They would have gone four percent, they're saying, and they were willing to talk. They didn't leave. I know. Believe me, Roger Toussaint's a fucking idiot. Yeah, He's a blithering fucking. There was nothing that the MTA presented to them that should have made them go, "Oh well, fuck you. We're leaving the table." Nothing. Gentlemen, let, let, let me tell you, nothing ever comes good of a strike. The Taylor Law is going to fuck us. Two yeah. days pay penalty for each day we go on strike. Right, so you go strike for three days, you're never going to get back a thousand dollars over three years for the money that you lost. Well, sweetie, I got a question for you. What does the average worker make a year? I don't know what. The, this is like, like say they want. Bus they, drivers are making twenty-one, and I think the uh, motorman, the guys, the guys actually drive the team about twenty-three. The conductor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Same. Twenty-three thousand a year? No, this. No, no, twenty-three an hour. I know how much. All right, how much a year? Is Starting that? pay for oh, a conductor hell. is about forty-three thousand dollars a oh, year. Oh yeah, I mean nobody makes a forty-hour paycheck. You know, it, it, believe me, the, the transit authority is horribly mismanaged. And they, they want were, retirement benefits to kick in at fifty-five years old, where it's been. Well, the, the, the not, MTA wants to kick it up to uh, what was it, sixty-three? Sixty-two. 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 How many Parody other people fucking have, uh, yeah, parody of the police. Uh, I'm sorry. I gotta say, I think the police have a little, uh, uh, tougher job, uh, and there's a little more, uh, mental stress and pressure of being a cop than a transit worker. I understand you guys have your pressures too, but, you know, retiring at 55 for a cop is fine. God bless them if they make it, uh, uh to that age. Transit worker. Let, let, let me give you an example. Look at, look at the guy driving the bus all those Mongols than I act. I haul that on a daily basis. Okay. It's driving. People do it every fucking day. It's called a commute. It, oh, it, it's a pain in the fucking balls. I won't deny that. Wait, dude, are you but, saying that the MTA wants to give them 4% over three years? So at the end of three years, they'll be making 4% more? No, 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 no. no. They want to give them... We want, we want it was three, 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 three four, four and, and then three. three and and somewhere close every to year? that. Every year? Each year. Like so it's after three years, they'll have a total of 10% increase. Yeah, more or less. Right. It, okay. It's not much. It, it's not outrageous, I don't think. It's called a raise that a lot of people get. I mean, all right. Hey, Bill, we'll see you at the mall, all right? Hey, God bless you guys. All right. Homeless shopping spree. Uh, the bus is on the way to the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. Let's see where they're at. It's E Rock. E Rock! Hey, guys. What's going on? Our, our first call from E Rock. I'm in the back of the bus with a couple of our uh, of our guests here, and we're talking about what they uh, want to buy with the money when they get a chance to go shopping here. We're here with um, our only female guest, Tina. All right, what's Tina. Tina's deal, by the way? Tina, what's your deal? Like, how come you're uh, you are where you are right now? You are where you are. The what? Drugs and alcohol. Drugs and alcohol. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and a bad relationship. And a bad nice. relationship. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you, what do you a gonna recipe do when for you rape. do some shopping? <laughs> what are you gonna buy? Something for my nephew and niece and my sister and everyone. Why? Are you buying for your family? Yeah, she's gonna buy some stuff for her family. She's not sure yet. Can we uh, actually talk? Hey, hey, Eric. Yeah. Can we actually talk to her? Or you don't want uh, that phone by that ear. She might say no. All right, hold on one second. <laughs> they want to talk to you. Okay. There you go. Hello? Hi, Tina. How are you? I'm doing all right, sir. How are you doing? Good, good. I was just wondering why, uh, since you, you probably need a few things yourself, are you thinking about other people uh, in your shopping? Oh, no. My sister's got cancer. I love her to death, and I buy everything I can for her. Wait, wait. What's, what's wrong with your, uh, your sister? Oh. Excuse me? What's, what's wrong with your sister? She got cancer. Oh, that's terrible. Jesus. That's funny. And uh, so you're gonna buy. It's not funny. So you no, that was a sound that was just playing in the background. So you're gonna you're gonna uh, buy her something nice. I know. Well, I'll be an Andy. I watch you in Triple X and da 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 on and on. Right. Um. So how long? How, wait. How, how long has she? Uh, how long has she actually been been, been ill? Uh, Miss? Yeah. Um, no, I just I just buy for my family. I don't buy for nobody else. No, but is your sister going to be okay? Well, maybe a pair of sneakers if I get it. What? Huh? Yeah. Stop ruining our bit and talk. Yeah. 
Are you okay? <laughs> Tina. So, no. What's the it's matter? It's not. It's called respect. Huh? Hey, Tina, you know what's going on today, right? Eh. Where do you think I'm you... I'm big enough to screw up the way it is, man. You think that, you know, I don't want to put my family through any more help. No, no. Tina. Uh, Tina. You have a Merry Christmas. What? I have no idea what she's saying. Thanks for killing our buzz just because you're homeless and your sister's sick. <laughs> yeah, I am homeless. I've been homeless for over 25 years. 25 years on the streets? You ever, uh, yeah. you ever, Congratulations uh, on the silver anniversary. You ever sell. I'm an old little mouse. Did you ever sell your box? I, I just dye my I hair. I make my in front of a silver store. Bit. You ever sell your box to, uh. <laughs> you ever sell your box? <laughs> uh, Tina, you, you ever, me? you ever sell your box or give head for, uh, money? Um, yeah, I send my father money all the time. No, but, but do you, you, you have sex for money? Excuse me? Oh, do you have please. sex for money? No. No? 25 years on the streets, you never gave a blowjob for like 10 bucks? Cause the guy, no, I don't give blowjobs for 10 bucks. The guy next to you who gave you the phone, he'll give you 100 for head. Hold on a minute. Hello? Hey, E Rock. Yeah, she doesn't want to talk anymore. I understand. Uh, can, can we talk to someone that's very coherent? Okay. Let's see who's coherent. Your name's Angel? I'm going to try something. Yeah, I know what you're doing. I was thinking the same thing. They think they're going to. How you doing? Hey, who's this? Who's on you? Angel, how are you, buddy? Excuse me? How are you? Fine, fine, thank you. Um, uh, Merry Christmas, by the way. Merry for reading, you know? Yeah, are you? What are you going to buy at the mall today? Well, if I do... I guess I'm gonna money, you know. I'm gonna go buy me some new clothes for New Year's. You're gonna buy some clothes, huh? Yeah. That's very nice. And postcards for my daughters in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Hey, uh. Money, you know, whatever. Angel. Little keys. Angel. Yeah. yeah. I guess this would be a good time to tell you, um. They're not taking you to the mall. Uh, no. They're not. Okay. Angel, they're not taking you to the mall right now. All right. They're taking you to lock up. Yeah. I guess uh, everyone on that bus has outstanding warrants, and we're taking you to lock up. Yeah. Yeah. And for what for? Huh? And for what? Uh, exposing yourself. Excuse me. Exposing yourself to women. <laughs> that was crazy. Hey, uh, make an announcement for the rest of the bus for us, please. Hey, guys. Everybody's gonna get charged for exposing yourself to women. Uh, <laughs> what <know>? an ass! <laughs> hey, uh, everybody's getting exposing yourself. Yeah, you, you need it outside. Hey, uh, Angel. Yeah. Angel, you know that guy that gave you the phone? Huh? You know that guy that gave you the phone? Yeah. He said you fucking stink. <laughs> yeah, he gave me some little, little shirt. All right. We told him to give the phone to the dirtiest bum on the bus. Oh, please. How are you going to fool me get that? I don't know. Why did he give it to you? <laughs> he wants me to give you. <laughs> None of these homeless can go along with a bit. No, oh, come on. You stink. You guys are buzzkills. All right. All right. Have they fun all, today. They all rot until they fucking get to the Hello. store. E-Rock. Yo. All right, where are you guys? Uh, where, where are we right now? Yo, where are we right now? Where? We're on the Palisade Parkway. All right, it's moving along pretty well. Yeah, well, as soon as we got out of the city, it started moving pretty fast, so we're making good time. All right, what's the ETA? Uh, how long do we get there? About half an hour. Half an hour, all right. Thank you, E-Rock. No problem, sir. All right. Let's uh, say hi to Elmer in New Jersey. Elmer! Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. What do you think about getting the uh, homeless guy some glamour shots? Yeah, they got to get one glamour <laughs> shot. <laughs> All right, punch it out. That would be very funny. The glamour shot. That would be really, really good. Uh, I want to see that. Let's see. Uh, I'm hanging up on a lot of people. Sorry about that. Let's go to Danny. Hey, Danny, what's up? 
Hey, what's up? I heard that guy talking about glamour shots. We had the same idea. I think we want to bring half a Hulk face to get glamour shots. <laughs> oh, that's a great oh, idea. Oh, that would be the guy. He's, like, he's yeah. like the star as far as things like makeovers, yeah. ear piercings, and glamour shots, things like that. We're going to take Jimmy's idea and bring him by the uh, Macy's makeup counter. Also. Someone's got to get a haircut, too. Some kind of a style, a haircut. Uh... Uh, we will definitely do that. I'm actually, I'm here with Grey Wolf and Tippy. I think I'm going to ask them what they want for Christmas, if that's cool with you guys. Sure. Let's go, Danny. All right. Hey, Grey Wolf, what's up, man? Hi, how are you? What do you want for Christmas? I want a home. Aww. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, you have to work for those. That's the rip. Well, Grey Wolf, you're going to have $202. So what, do you, what can you, with, with that money, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, $202. Don't spend $2 on a trip back home and uh, try to get a room. He's going to have a room for Christmas. Oh. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. That is awful. Because then once once you... You use it, it's done. Yeah, I know, but you can only use that for one for one night. You know, don't you want to spread it out a little bit? Oh, that's uh, one month's rent. Take his money away. Yeah, he's uh, not allowed to shop. He's not allowed to use it for shelter. Yeah, no food, no shelter. They're not going <laughs> to waste this money. Them's the rules. It's going to buy things that humiliate them, or they're not going to spend it. I bet Tippy probably has a different way he'd like Material to Material things that will only get them punched in the face out on the street. That's what I want them buying. That's right. Yeah, that's pretty bar. Hey, right. Tippy Tom. Titty yeah. bar. What's up, baby? Oh, jeez, um, imagine well, I'm, I'm, I'm still here. I'm still up. What do you want for Christmas? Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm here, Titty. No, I'm uh, a blonde and a brunette and a, uh, a redhead. And, uh, and I have pants. And um, I'm all three. In, in bikinis. And, um, I don't care. <laughs> and, um, oh. But I want to go to the beach. The beach? Tibby wants to take some uh, people to the beach. I'd like to see him at the beach on a day like today. Throw him in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Walking down the beach and the seagulls are just following him. I'm cold! <laughs> yes, you are. All right, Danny. All right, guys. Hey, uh, have Ben call us soon. Okay, I will. All right, if you're just tuning in, it's the homeless shopping spree. we got a bus filled with homeless people, and they're on their, their way to the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. They should be there by 4.30, it looks like. If you're going to the mall, I guess the listeners are starting to gather around the first wheel. Yes, we want them all there to uh, greet the homeless, help them shop a That's little right. bit. And uh, follow them around the store. And if you're at the mall, give us a call. I want to see what's going on there, how crowded it is, and uh, all yeah. that junk, okay? Sure. We'll go to break with Tippy Tom singing. Remember this? Oh, who could forget? From It's the Homeless Shopping Spree 2005. Where are we? We got a bus that's filled with homeless people, and they're on the way to the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. That's 1000 Palisade Center Drive. The listeners are starting to gather at the mall. We got No Filter Paul on hand. Let's say hi to Paul. Paul, oh, what's great. up? Hey, guys. I'm sitting by the front of all the fans of the show. Do you want to say hello? Yeah. Everyone say hello. All right. Good start. There you go. How many people? I, I think that was about seven. <laughs> no, that, that was more like 37. <laughs> oh, really? All right. That's yeah, not bad at all. Right. 40 right now. There's a couple of hundred cops walking around trying to, uh, in being conspicuous, but we already spotted them. And there's more walking up right now as we're talking. All right. Yeah. Okay. If you're going to join the uh, homeless as they shop at the Palisades Center Mall, oh, uh, sorry, the, the fan. Right. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> He can't. I hung up on him. Holy shit. shit. Obi's trying to give the big sell. Everybody's all anxious today. Shut the yeah. fuck up. We're the most interactive radio show. Relax. We'll, we'll give you a chance to talk all you want when it's your turn. We're here at the Ferris wheel. <laughs> and, uh, Thanks for introducing us to No Filter Paul, by oh, the way. Oh, you're welcome, Opie. Oh, God. Can't wait to pay you back someday. <laughs> you the worst. Why? Does he, does he want to go out with you guys? Can I tell him sometimes, like, yeah, well, Oprah would love to go out with you. Yeah, you, thanks. You think so? That's you think? I was down in Atlantic God. City. Well, call me a think. I'm just <laughs> telling you. And he's like, uh, let's go gamble. And I'm like, I ain't gambling with you. And then, then he asked for it's my... It's a gamble being with him. Then he asked for Black my... Black person comes by, they're going to hit you both. He asked for my phone number, so I had to give him the uh, the wrong phone number. Cause Did I, you? Because I, I, I didn't know how to tell him I don't want him to have my phone number. And then it turned you want out. Give me a number. And then it turned out he called this uh, fake, <laughs> fake phone number like five or six times. Think of that poor bastard. And he couldn't figure out why uh, I wasn't calling him back or something. I don't know. Let's say hi to Ben. 
What I was going to say, it's the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. They're gathering at the Ferris Wheel. So if you're on your way to the mall, that's where all the pests and the Army are hanging out right now, waiting for the bus to arrive. With that, let's go to Ben, who's on the bus. Ben. Isn't Paul the most fucking annoying person on the face of the earth? Ben blushes, hates ben. Paul. Jesus Let me tell you something. <laughs> ben hates Paul. It isn't an act. It's not for the show. I'm not. Ben <laughs> hates Paul. <laughs> he drives me fucking crazy. He emails me five times a day. He called me today. So is the thing still going on? Uh, Jesus Christ. Does he, does he really annoy you? He, he annoys me. Steve and I uh, just fuck with him back. We just can't take him. It's going to be Paul interesting. Uh, it's probably the most annoying person on earth. It's going to be interesting to see how many people join us uh, today. It's a weird day. Yeah. Because a lot of people weren't sure we were going to do this. So what's up, Ben? <laughs> we're actually we're making great time. Kenny uh, is saying we're about 15 minutes away. There's oh, nice. There's traffic. We're doing really well. So we're almost there. We're going to pull into Circuit City. And uh, they'll have $202 to shop with with these nice American Express gift cards. So, oh, God. Uh, sweet. Are you, and, guys... you know what? Yeah, it's always funny, though. I mean, I was thinking about it in all the years. What's that? Yeah. Oh, we're getting pulled over. Well, that's good. Uh, we're getting pulled over. All right, stay on the phone. We uh, Last time a bus of ours was pulled over, uh, boy, was that trouble. This is legal, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very funny, Ben, with a Rick callback. <laughs> All right. Well, we've been pulled over. Where are, where are we? Uh, Kenny's uh, getting off the bus. Was it because the driver wasn't sitting in the back seat? <laughs> No. <laughs> what? Uh, I really... <laughs> How did I miss that one? <laughs> All right, we'll wait to see what happens. The bus yeah, has this... been pulled over. Wants to get uh, the bus driver's autograph. He loves him in the new Peter Jackson movie. <laughs> <laughs> he sure it wasn't King Kong. <laughs> That's what I meant, you fucking... <laughs> you dolt. <laughs> wow. Oh, Ben... <laughs> Ben, that's good that you take everything completely literally. Remove the humor. Oh, he has no idea that the vagueness of it kind of makes it funny. No, uh, King Kong. <laughs> Fucking Ben barreled right ahead. <laughs> the big head poking out of a laughing box. What uh, what pulled you over? Well, I'm, uh, there's a, uh, this is actually like a uh, Camaro type um, state trooper has pulled up uh, over. Speeding. Trooper? Yeah. Was the guy speeding? Obviously. I, I don't think we were speeding. I mean, we weren't going that fast. I mean, the, the, the spot where we have been pulled over at was where traffic was being slow, was slowed down due to some construction. Oh, uh, speeding. Uh, was it emissions coming out of the van, uh, the uh, bus? <laughs> just <laughs> just tell him it was Big Kevin. You guys will be all right. <laughs> oh, he's very really angry with you guys, by the way. Hey, I didn't start it. I, I was like... I didn't want any part of it. Dude, I absolutely But now that it's either. out there, might as well jump on. I just walked in and gagged. <laughs> By the way, are you guys... Things are looking good. Kenny uh, is walking back to the uh, to the bus here. All right. All right, let's get a briefing from Kenny. Yeah, let's get sidecar All on right. the phone. Hello. What happened? Kenny, what uh, what happened? What was the problem? Um... Uh, but we're not getting too much of a warm reception. <laughs> we're not welcome. Wait a minute. Was that uh, because they know where you're going and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Everybody knows they're ready for us. So what did the guy say? Um, I don't want to repeat it on the radio, especially since all the cops are listening. Was it was it something uh, to do with when you get there? Was it something to do with? What they're doing on the bus? Was it something to do with the speed of the bus? What was the? Can be vague, but give us as much info as you can. Um, we bended a few laws. Bended a few laws. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll yeah. I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. I'll use my imagination. All right. I can't understand how... I know this, transport, the transporting garbage law. <laughs> yeah, isn't it supposed to be in a container with a cover on it, a tarp? And don't you need a fucking dump permit? <laughs> permit? Jesus. Yeah. Be douche permit. I suck. So they know right. we're coming. Yeah, yeah, they know we're coming. I, I don't know if they, they erected a wall to keep us out yet. Was it a, uh, t a New York uh, trooper? Yes, yeah, so he was a handsome gentleman playing with the purple tie. Very handsome? Yeah, yeah, you know, with that big square jaw. Yeah. You know the type. All right, so are you guys off again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, yeah, we're rolling. All right, so, so regardless of what he said and the bending of some rules and regulations, let's say, uh, it's on, he didn't stop you and uh, prohibit you from doing anything, right? 
Oh, no, he just gave us a friendly warning. A friendly warning. A friendly warning. Was there something going on through the windows of the bus that perhaps caught his attention? Oh, no, no, everybody's, everybody's well behaved. All right, I'm just trying to figure it out. Maybe, uh, maybe off air we can, uh, get yeah. to the bottom of that because I would love to know what the, the bending, the bending is. We'll have, uh, complete details tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. All right, Kenny. Yeah, we'll keep you updated. All right. It's all good. I'm going to charm them. Uh, and you, you guys are about, uh, what, 15 minutes from the mall? We're checking traffic online uh, where we're at, and it's it's clear sailing. You guys should be there in 10, 15 minutes. Well, we'll, we'll see. We're getting rerouted. Oh, I know what you did wrong. Yeah, we're getting rerouted. Commercial vehicle. Right. Oh, you dummies. Commercial all right. vehicle. All right. I'll call Call you back. All right, a little detour for the boys. They're, uh... Jesus. they got to find a way around, uh... Commercial vehicle. What a dope. Uh, All right, let's say hi to Jim. Who's fighting Benjamin? <laughs> King Kong. <laughs> Jim's at the mall. Jim? Hey, what? what's up, guys? How you doing? Hey, man. Palisade Center Mall, West Nyack, if you want to join us. Uh, get to the first wheel. Yes. We're, we're downstairs at the entrance. It's like the fucking president's about to show up here or something. There's so much security here. Oh, really? There's about 30 people upstairs and about eight of us smoking cigarettes downstairs. There's about three security guards, about three unmarked cars right in the... Right in the uh, security's walking over me right now. Really? Yeah. It's like the fucking president's about to show up there. What, uh, what is security doing? Is he hassling you, man? No, they're, they're waiting to another security guy driving by right now, actually. Uh-huh. Security oh, guys, we're on the air right now. Do you know what? You want to talk to the guys? We're on the air right now with them. What's going on? What? You want to talk to Opie and Anthony? We're on the air right now. Yeah. Here's the security guy right now. All right. <laughs> how you doing, sir? Is that? Yeah, are on the air. I'm here. Hi, sir. Hello. Hey. Hi. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, you guys uh, expecting the homeless any minute now to show up uh, oh, shopping? Man. Have you been briefed? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They've briefed you about this, and uh, what, what's oh, the yeah. protocol here? How is how should this situation be handled? What do you mean? Uh, did they give you any special instructions as to what to do when the homeless arrive? Are they to be escorted everywhere? What, what... Keep it from being a mess. I don't know. <laughs> Keep it from being a mess. Have Have you yeah. been told maybe to prohibit them from anything, or do they have free reign to shop wherever they want in the mall? I'm not. Nobody's going to tell them not to shop. It's not a legal shop, you know? All right. Just wondering, you know, because did, did you have a meeting about this with the rest of the security for the mall today? <laughs> yeah. You did. And what, what, was, uh, what was told in that meeting? I was off today. They, uh... Told me to hold on a second. He was off today. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. I'm holding. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> so yeah, they're mobilizing troops right now. <laughs> what? Oh my God. What is so funny, sir? <laughs> they're on their, their walkie-talkies, their cell phones, mobilizing the troops to show up at the entrance here, man. It's just like fucking bushes in town or something. Oh, we're back to the listener. Okay. Oh. I didn't know yeah, he passed the phone over. It's, it's oh, the security guy didn't want to talk anymore, I guess. They're on their walkie-talkie and their cell phones right now mobilizing. He probably realized that wasn't the brightest move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep us informed there, Jim. Hi, boys. Take Th care. Thank you. Let's say hi to Maggie. She's calling all the way from Syracuse. Maggie, what's up? Hey, guys. I just wanted to let hi. you know that uh, the mall has been prepped that you're coming. Now, how do you know up there in Syracuse? Um, because I work for them. Oh, you do? In what capacity? I work in their home office as a secretary. Oh, in the home office? Now, what kind of uh, briefings have been given? What kind of information have you been getting about this? Actually, I haven't been getting any information. I don't know what the um, what they've been told to do. I just know that they knew that you guys were coming. Really? Mm hmm And is it, is it going to be a problem, or are these guys going to be able to go around and, and just shop? I think that they're going to let the guys, as long as nothing gets out of control, I think they're going to be fine. All right, that's a problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you haven't hung with our listeners yet. No, we should We yeah, should be fine. It's guys uh, are going to be well-behaved. As long as everything goes smoothly, there shouldn't be a problem. You know, you will be pleasantly surprised at how caring and giving our uh, listeners are and how uh, nice this will be for the homeless. <laughs> I can't even say it without laughing. <laughs> 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 Basically, the only reason we do this every year is... Is so we because you're charitable fellow. Well, no, we're hoping for a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's really it. You know, a disaster where we still get to keep our jobs. Right. That is the ideal situation for this program. Always yeah. has been over the years. A disaster where we actually keep our jobs. The bigger the disaster. The better, as long as we keep our job. Basically, we're looking for page three coverage, and we still get to keep our jobs. The more people right. that get hurt, 
and the less it affects us financially. That's right. <laughs> that is pretty much it in a nutshell. Front page means uh, definite firing. That's why we uh, we hope you for like page, page three. three. Right, what's sure. the name of the mall? Uh, Pacific Palisades Mall. West Nyack. The bus should be arriving very soon. Actually, I'm going to go to the bus. Thanks, Maggie. No problem. All right. Let's say hi to... Uh, I don't even know who we're saying hi to. Who's this? Yo, yo, yo. Hello? Who's the, uh, hi. Ben, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? What do you got? I've got uh, Jose, who's all smiles but really wants uh, some apple juice. Yeah, Jose, let's explain for the new listeners. He's one of the homeless guys, and he loves to masturbate in public. Yeah, <laughs> perhaps, uh, well, <laughs> he, cannot, he cannot keep it in his pants. We also had a special treat in that uh, Santa just unleashed his special brand of holiday cheer in the bathroom. <laughs> so, Homemade eggnog for everybody. Uh, he dropped off a little brown tree ornament, did he? Uh, did he dropped he? off a uh, Yuletide log. Mm. <laughs> oh. All right, would you like me to ask Jose here what he wants to get for Christmas here? Yeah. All right. Jose, what do you want to get at the mall for Christmas, man? Uh-huh. Jose. Oh, boy. What do you want to get for Christmas? CD playing. A high pain. On the way outside. Sneakers. Sneakers? Um, $40 in my pocket. $40 in his pocket and sneakers, I think. No idea. Jose. What fucking talking uh, about. Yeah, what, what would you like to ask him? Ask Jose if he's going to have a, a problem keeping his uh, junk in his pants. Okay. Jose, you're going to have trouble um, not touching yourself at the mall. There'll be a lot of pretty women there. <laughs> All right, I'll be able to. Okay, okay. Are you, are you, Jose? Are you interested in, in picking up any women's attire, any women's dresses? Nothing. Uh, I really. I'm guessing somebody else is talking to him, and he's getting easily distracted. Sorry. All right. Does this mall have a, a website or something? Because last year I remember we went to the. Oh, it does. Yeah, the, it all looks right. beautiful. I want it because I, I want to see uh, and go through some of the stores. Um, damn, I can't seem to find the link. If you could help me, Steve, and look at that, and then punch it up on my yeah. computer over here. We're well, about uh, just for an update. We are on Route 59, about five minutes away. Five minutes away from the mall. If you're joining the homeless for the homeless shopping spree, get yourself to the Ferris wheel. That's where the okay. listeners are gathering. All right, then. We'll check in with you guys in a few minutes. Call us when you guys are pulling up, all right? All right, you got it. All right, thank you. Yep. Let's, uh, let's see. Waiting for you, getting drunk. John at the mall. John, what's up? Thank you, Steve. You're welcome. John. Steve, everybody. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and hey. Oh, you got the camera working today? Uh, yeah, there's a few privileged people that are able to uh, uh, check out the broadcast today. Uh, Nothing too exciting going on in here, but you just uh, get to kind of... You know, check it out. Check out the oh, webcam. Check out Jimmy eating uh, pretzels and chewing them up and uh, regurgitating Would you them. put your, close your mouth, you disgust. Uh, <laughs> John, what's up? Nothing. Uh, hanging out in the mall parking lot. Okay. Yeah, but uh, the coolest thing is is that me and my buddy Ray, Yeah. we work for Verizon, and uh, we work out of, like, Bergen County, and we're up here in our work truck. Yeah. So you see a big Verizon line rig right outside the Best Buy. Yeah. They're just chilling out, drinking a few beers. Okay. But I'll tell you right now, you got to see security. They're, like, hovering the place. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like they keep walking up to us and, like, what are you guys doing? Oh, yeah, we're working on the lines. Oh, right on. So, like, you're not I... here for that O and A thing. Like, oh, no, what are you talking about? Well, this is a security legendary bit. The truck. Why the, the big deal? We're just helping. Well, the last time we did the, did uh, did this, there was thousands of people that showed up at the mall. I don't think we're going to get that today. But Oh, well, uh, no, I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong because... There's, there's no parking. We're taking up, like, you know, we got the big line rig with the big reel of fiber optics on the back. We're taking right. up, like, three parking spots. Right. People hate us as it is. I bet you know? there's a lot of people in their car listening to the show because they don't all have MiFi's, and they're waiting for them to show, and then they're going to hit the mall. So. Dude, th th this is going to be great. Me, me and my partner, Ray, we got got 100 bucks between the two of us. We're going to give them to one of you guys, send them into, like, Victoria's Secret. Sit there and say, look, trying something a little slinky for the help over there. Right. I think that's what you got to do. Is send them All in right. there. See yeah. Get them, get them in the display window, maybe humping some mannequins or something. All right. Thank you, John. Okay, brother. Let's go to Zach in Baltimore. Zach? Hey, uh, guys. Hey, Pookie. How you doing? Hi, Zach in Baltimore. You guys are missing the obvious. I think half a Hulk face needs a picture with Santa. 
I mentioned that the other day, but I don't know if they'll allow adults to get pictures, especially yeah. ones that have spoiled their lives. And uh, someone else has a great idea for half a Hulk face. Big Dirty Phil. Big Dirty Phil. Yo, what's up, fellas? Hey. Hey, sweet tits. Hi, Phil. Hey, you gotta have a half a Hulk face go try on some ski masks. <laughs> <laughs> Punching out, boy. Um, yes, sir. Uh, gotta say it. hi to uh, Reverend uh, Rev Daniel. Okay. Who just in capital letters and exclamation points printed yawn, yawn, yawn. Hey, enjoy this little bounce. There you go. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, look at that. You banned him? I'm bouncing him. I used to be able to save these people. I can't save them anymore. Nope. That's it. I didn't like the yawn thing right. he was doing. Frenchie, what's up? How you doing, guys? Merry Christmas. Thanks, Frenchie. You're very welcome. I, sorry, I couldn't hear the show. I'm in California. <sighs> Uh, I'm in California, urgent business. So yes, it's absolutely beautiful, 25, and I'm in 80 degrees, wonderful, sunny. 25. No strike. Uh, this it's must be a very important call. So why are you calling us, uh, Frenchie? I don't know, because uh, fucking Billy Mac uh, said, oh, you got to call the show, you got to call the show. I'm like, okay, so he... <laughs> it is amazing how uninteresting he is. It's almost like a guy doing a parody of an uninteresting person. No, right. Okay. Yeah, if there was a show that needed somebody to call up and be uninteresting, and he did it, you would say, no, it's too over the top. Yeah, you're overacting. You're not being authentic enough as an uninteresting guy. No human <laughs> is that truly <laughs> devoid of anything of value to say. <laughs> You have to at least have something that one person somewhere may be interested in or it won't be believable. But you, it's nothing. There is not one thing, and that makes it not believable. When, when in the first moment of your call, you almost do centigrade and then you go to Fahrenheit, you're a fucking dullard, and you should never call another radio show in your I life. I think that was what, uh, what he was uh, doing. In 2570 centigrade. <laughs> Shut up. Jeff in Jersey, what's up? Hey, boys. Merry Christmas. You too, Jimmy, happy Jeff. birthday. Thank you, Jeff. Hey, I'd like to, uh, can we sponsor any of these people? I can't be there. You guys are putting me in the, uh, the charitable mood. Well, I think enough listeners will be handing over cash today, so that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. don't you worry yeah, about it. Yeah, I appreciate it. it, Jeff. No problem. Enjoy. Keep up the good work, boys. All right, man. But that is a good idea in the future to sponsor. That's a great idea for next year. Fashion. They could go into some of the fashion stores. They might be at the mall. Let's hear what's going on. Who's this? This would be Ben now. Ben, what's up, buddy? Ben. What's up, guys? We are pulling into Circuit City now. See a bunch of idiots out front uh, waiting for us. So we will do uh, the uh, the usual. We'll uh, bring all the homeless off the bus and and get them all going. I'm, I'm, I'm interested, you know, and then the, this being the third year we've done this, it's always interesting to see who goes where. Right. Because, you know, like you always get the two guys that go right to the bar. And uh, so it should be interesting. It's actually, we've got a good crowd, and we're pulling up right now. We're coming up by J.C. Penny. All right, you're going to have have to have sidecar announce the homeless one by one as they leave the bus. Okay, I love we'll that, that part of this every year. Absolutely. That's a, All right, give I him a list of the names and have him uh, announce it to the crowd. Okay. All right. Well, they're at the mall, Ant. Now the fun starts. Hey, Ben, do you really dislike Paul? Coming off. Okay. I don't know their names. Oh, oh. Cool. Behind the scenes. Uh... Holy mackerel. Look at the reception we're getting. Really? Holy mackerel. There's got to be tens of people. No. Oh, I see Pat Wanaki's fat head in the crowd. Of course. <laughs> oh, wait, here comes the oh, oh, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's farting, which is oh. usually no big deal, but now he pulls his pants down. Jesus. I can't work in this environment. <laughs> I'm a professional broadcaster. This is no way to do a radio show. What the fuck? My God. Sidecar. Hard to work yeah. owner, eh? Back to you. Like the Beatles. Yeah. Well, I, I might have to talk to the security people. Why? So I might have to hand the phone off. Why? 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 What are they doing? I just want to make sure we're all good, because you, you got about 300 people out here chanting already. Let's, let's hear the chant. You're still in the bus. Yeah. Could you pop the door shut? Here we come. Oh. There's some people there. That's nice. You're right. They were in the cars listening. <laughs> Holy crap. We're here. We're here. <laughs> wow. 
It's like a sports team coming home after a big victory. Oh. No, it's like black and white footage from the 40s in Europe. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna hand the phone off. The New York Disgustings. <laughs> hey, who's this? We are ah, can't hear a thing. We are Hello. Huh? Who? We want homeless. Oh, yeah, it's homeless. we want homeless. All right, who's this? Ben. Keep them. Good. No, no, this is Danny. I'm sorry, it's so hard to hear you. We have a huge crowd in front of this mall. It's unbelievable. Awesome. There's got, to, there's got to be at least 300 people just waiting outside. This is great. Wow. And we're getting pictures and video of this. We'll have it up on the websites later on tonight. Absolutely. The pest coming through again. That is bravo. The ONA Army coming through again. It's unbelievable here right now. All right, you guys got to, like, uh, intro the homeless one by one live on the show. Yeah, uh, for the crowd out there, as they leave the bus uh, individually, uh, give them the big intro so the crowd can uh, know who they are. That's right. And maybe pick their favorite if they want to buy them yeah, something. We're looking, we're looking for Keith because he's, I think he's the only one that actually knows all of their names. <laughs> yes, right. he does. So <laughs> we're waiting for Keith. <laughs> oh, they're chanting for half a Hulk face. Oh, I, I knew he would be a crowd favorite. favorite. Early I favorite. knew it. He would be a crowd favorite. When he walks off that bus and they see that half a Hulk face, they're going to run. They're going to just <laughs> flee. This is going to be a recreation of the mall scene from uh, that uh, Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> gonna, they're going to have to barricade the doors and hope right. for the best. All right, what do we got? All right, well, we're still waiting. Keith's in the van, so we're waiting for Keith, and, and I guess he'll be introing all these guys. Okay. So, I, uh, you know, I'm sure he's just trying to get to where we are. He was a little further behind us. So once he gets there, we'll be introing all the guys and going in. All right, it's not too early to join the, the crowd up at the uh, Palisades Center Mall, uh, 1000 Palisades Center Drive, West Nyack, New York. It's homeless. It's the Homeless Shopping Spree 2005. All right, they're organizing, so we're yeah, just... Yeah, we're here. organizing. You want me to call you back when we're ready? Uh, what do you think? It mm -hmm. might be a few minutes for Keith to get around to where we're at. So. Yeah, call it back when right. you're ready. Don't, yeah. have, yeah. don't have anyone step off the bus until uh, you're ready for the big no, intro. No, we want right? the big reveal. We want to hear the big reveal. Absolutely. All right, call Absolutely. us back. Okay. Hey, man, I wasn't expecting a crowd like that. i got to be honest. That's nice, man. Got to thank the uh, the pass and the ONA army. Especially since some of them are probably still working till five. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be. Uh, I think it's going to grow. And there's still time. They're going to be in the uh, in the lot for a little uh, while there for the big uh, introductions, and then they'll make their way uh, into the mall. So there's plenty of time to still get down there. That's right. And uh, pick out a favorite, like I said. Maybe buy him a pair of shoes. Right. Wouldn't that be nice? He gets to take those old shoes off in a store. <laughs> but the beauty is, buy him a size too small. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> a little ow with every step. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Yeah, they're waterproof, but ooch. ooch. <laughs> Hey, uh, one of the homeless that will be shopping today is Grey Wolf, one of our faves. We should play the Grey Wolf song. We have the new version? Uh, not yet. No, he just uh, wrote the second half of the song. We're going to re-record it soon. Opie, I would also like... He was telling to, me, though, uh, that Tippy Tom dies at the end of the song. I want to tip a little. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to tip a little here. Here it is. Ah, oh, there it goes. I'm tipping a little to Ziggy. Uh, this is our uh, first homeless shopping spree that is Ziggy free. That's right. Ziggy was a very entertaining uh, homeless little feller, and uh, he has since died. That's right. He uh, died, and uh... <laughs> very sad. That's right, Anthony. And he will not be uh, not be there this year, but in spirit. Uh, he will be there. I remember his haunting rendition of a Silent Night. Yeah, do we still have Silent Night around, or See, that would be fantastic? See, we should have prepared and had some clips of the homeless people, but yeah, it'd be funny if Ben was here and you play the clip. You're like, dude, you shouldn't play laughter over a death thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got Grey Wolf. Obvious ass boob. <laughs> All right, uh, here's Grey Wolf and uh, Shelter Me from the pouring rain, everyone. And let's see how this Can comes out. All right. They're right there. All right, here we go. I got to break. Ah, oh, this is nice. Here we go. This is a story about a man. And he always was so lonely at night. But his voice was rowdy. about tippy-toe 
Gray Wolf and Shelter Me. Yes, and uh, I think we're ready for uh, for the homeless to leave the bus. we got Keith the Cop on the line. Keith. Hey, gentlemen, what's going on? How are you? Hi, Sugar. By the way, uh, before everyone gets arrested, I just want to let you know that uh, you did a great job at the homeless shopping spree once again this year, Keith. Thank you very much. Keith really I... took this bid and made it his own, really. Yes. Yeah. It I just took wanted... <laughs> okay. Real quick, I, uh, I had a meeting with uh, the mall security. I had a meeting with the Clarkston Police Department, and uh, they said, let the homeless shop. Yeah. Oh, bravo. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a madhouse. There's got to be 20 people out there. <laughs> Perhaps more than that, Jim. Maybe a couple of more. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's always underestimating. <laughs> That's right. Huh? We're going to stop introductions as we bring them off the bus? Yeah, that sounds good. You're going to have to scream it so they hear the names. You got it, okay? All right, here we go. They're All right, hold on about time. to leave the bus. Hey, everybody. First off, we have Tina. Yeah! All right, start slow. We don't really know Tina. Yeah. Next up, Gray Wolf, everybody. Gray Wolf. Yeah, Gray Wolf's a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Angel! It's Angel! Here's the moon! Yeah, you brought the headline around too soon. <laughs> <laughs> this guy see this homeless Santa Claus. He's great. The pictures will be up on the site tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait to see the video of this. Then this guy on the says, can't, can you spare a dollar for food or pot? And he got his first dollar. <laughs> hey, did you, uh... All right, hold on. Is that... Oh, here Alright, everybody, here is Hannibal Holt! Hannibal Holt face. <laughs> everybody here is James! James on the bottom line! Oh, they should have ended with Hannibal Holt face. Oh, of course they should have. What's wrong with these people? He has no clue. Last but not least, we have Jose the Dog Boy. Jose the Dog Boy? Wow. He's the one that likes to masturbate in public. Oh, All right. I thought that was he Angel. He can't help himself. He will whip out his junk. All right, everybody. That's those guys off the bus. I'm going to get it on. I'm going to get him split up, and then we're going to we'll do a couple call-ins once we get him shopping. All right. Oh, thank boy. you, Keith. All right. Sounds good. All right. There they go. They have uh, made it to the mall, Anthony. Let's all just pray, okay? Please, God. Um, let us have a homeless shopping spree that does not jeopardize our job. Exactly. Please let us get through this without nary a thing that could get us fired. We are just trying to do your work, O oh Lord. God, will we ever learn? <laughs> will we? I ask for your guidance on this very special please, day. Please be with us. Please be our stinky co-pilot. 
during this homeless shopping spree. God, I've put all my eggs in this basket. <laughs> Please don't let these two self-destructive millionaires fuck this up again. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. You know, know what's bad about this time? We now have fuck you money, so we don't even oh. care on any level. <laughs> I don't have fuck you money. I have, I have, oh yeah, money. <laughs> uh, Ugg from Buffalo, what's up? Hey, what's going on, O&A? Jimmy, happy birthday. Thanks, Ugg. Appreciate the uh, sentiment. Ah, not a problem. I got a couple things. One, I think the Catholic Church could really learn a lot about charity from you guys. That's right. I mean, I mean, honestly, I mean, they start, they got to start stepping it up if they want to really get the crowds to pay the money. All right, I'll, I got to cut you off because Ben is in the mall. We got to get an update All here. All right, Ben is inside the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. The homeless uh, starting to check things out. Ben. We got to give our listeners a lot of credit. We have a huge turnout here. We got, we got easily a few hundred people here. We're just uh, piling into the mall, and Kenny and I are going to take Tippy Tom and Gray Wolf and begin our little uh, festivities here. So, Gray Wolf, where do you want to start shopping today? Where should we start? Uh, what do you want to buy first? I have no clue. As you can see, Gray Wolf is fully together. So, so. Right, clean up. They have no like. They have no reference point. Yeah, it, it must be like. You know, alien territory to them. Yeah. What do you want to buy? A sock and a cup? <laughs> yeah, they're used to like walking into these places and immediately getting kicked out. They don't know what it's like to buy something nice, to have the the ability to buy something nice. So they. They're so poor. They're so black. <laughs> Who said that? Wolf Blitzer is with them, I think. Is Celine Dion with them? Let them touch. Let them just touch them. Perhaps Tippy Tom wants to buy a kayak. <laughs> Let him buy it. All right. Uh, I don't know what happened. What there. happened there? There was yelling, oh. and then we were disconnected. <laughs> I hope, it I hope someone just good. bit Ben's hand and he dropped his phone. <laughs> Some rabies-ridden animal <laughs> bit his hand. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Brian, what's up? O N A. How you guys doing? Hey man. Hey. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you, Brian. Hey, guys, I want to say just don't let these guys waste any of that hard-earned money that you guys are giving them on anything by Rich Voss. <laughs> Do they even sell Voss stuff in oh, uh, sure, real stores? They, they, no. They do CDs in stores, man. Don't let them waste that, that good hard-earned money on that. I'd rather see them seriously spend it on a sock and a cup. You can break it into quarters and use it as a shank out in the... Uh... Out in the streets, perhaps. What? His, His uh, CD. Well, you can actually the, you can get it in Spencer's next to the rubber duty and plastic vomit. <laughs> it's a gag gift. Like, your friends think they're going to laugh and enjoy this. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> uh, let's go to Andrew in Michigan. Andrew. Hey, guys. What's up? The whole country listening in as the homeless that. shops. Thanks, man. Um, just wondering if any of the homeless maybe want to go ice skating. There happens to be a rink in the Palisades Mall. Oh, There's the an home. ice skating rink in the yes. mall? This there most certainly is. They have an IMAX theater. It's like the biggest mall uh, yeah. of all time, basically. Yeah, it's wow. a huge, huge mall. Wow. All right, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to uh, Todd exactly. in Missouri. Todd, what's up? Hey, Opie is a smart broadcaster. Opie, you did the smartest thing I think I've ever heard anybody did. He laid it all on Keith's, uh, Keith's lap by saying, yeah, Keith kind of took this, made it his own. And <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. You know something? I didn't even notice that. It sounded so much like a natural statement. I didn't realize yeah. it was some way to uh, get out of trouble later on. And the beautiful thing was that the guy who finds Opie Intelligence said, uh, well, how did he say it? He goes, uh, I fucking forgot how he said it. <laughs> oh, 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 no, he, hold on, Todd. Hold on. No, he fucked up the uh, the, the tent. No, the guy screwed up, and I forgot what he said right. wrong. Stank. And I almost said it right. All right Todd, I gotta cut you off because we got Ben back. They have begun shopping. Ben, what's up? <laughs> what's going on? Hey, I just uh, I just brought uh, Tippy Tom into Zales Jewelers, and uh, that was a, a very interesting experience. But Tom now wants to go and find someone that serves liquor. What a shock! Oh, really? So, oh, they yeah. might want to have a little Christmas beverage. Well, that's fine. Yep. <laughs> I don't see uh, why they couldn't. No surprise Ben picked Tippy Tom for this mission. Uh, good point. See, Ben knows. <laughs> In a fucking hour, Tippy Tom will be carrying him. Come on, Ben, you got to slow down. Hey, why don't we get this drunk out of here already? I want a shot. He thinks I want he knows Tom Brady. <laughs> ben and Tippy Tom are going to be on all, on all fours on the skating rink looking for blow. <laughs> yeah, all the ice shavings are going to be trying yeah. to snort. <laughs> We're all going to get is a brain freeze for Christmas. <laughs> All right, Ben, uh, well, Grey Wolf is doing something? Grey Wolf wants to buy some CDs, amazingly, so we're going to find a music shop. All right. Music store? 
And uh, we're just floating around. We, I mean, we just got into the center of the mall. We're trying to figure out where we're going. We've got a huge crowd following us. And Tippy Tom has replaced Ziggy as the, you know, the Mick Jagger of the group. He is. <laughs> the Mick Jagger. He's getting photographed. Every, people are, have got tape recorders having Tippy Tom wish their family Merry Christmas. It's fucking bizarre. <laughs> He's a celebrity. So, yeah, he is. It's so, good to know that Ziggy's tradition uh, lives on. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So... So we're going to walk around and uh, we'll check back in a little bit. All right, thank you, Ben. Get everyone else to call in, all right? All right. All right. Sounds There's like... There's a Rascals Comedy Club in there? Yes. I wouldn't know. Really? Nope. Wouldn't know. I want to do open mic. <laughs> Get me on stage. It's Golden Buns. <laughs> Let's go to Geo in New Jersey. Geo. You wait. No. What's going on? <laughs> Sarcastic. <laughs> Nor will I ever. I love Jimmy. After good old Hope called that fell out a couple of years ago. Yeah. I never went back. Gio. Yeah, sir. Yeah. Hey, listen. This reminds me of the very first one you guys had. It brings back, like really great memories. I'm an electrician. We were working at the Short Hills Mall. Yeah. And we were listening, and all of a sudden, here come these friggin' animals, like, you know, walking through the mall with all the cops. Remember the Short Hills? That was the first one you did? Oh, yeah. That was our favorite. Uh, that was my that was my favorite. So it brings back great memories. This is funny as shit, man. Oh, uh, thanks, bro. What yeah, a nice bunch call. of. Is this uh, the third one we've done? I think so. We wow, there's a, a lot of, of restaurants off, right? in that place too. Yeah. So that's not good because they're all gonna end up drinking. Who's this? Hey, Sam. Dan, what's up? What's up? Oh, Dan, what's yeah, up? Yeah, we uh, we got Rudolph and Santa. They're uh, perusing Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> Abercrombie and Fitch. What what are they looking at? I. <laughs> Pants. All they see is the ass is pants with holes in them. They're like, ah, we're at home. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if this is maybe the best store for them, but it's just what they're in right now. Yeah. Are they, are they thinking of maybe trying some stuff on? They're <laughs> you the fucking the alarm going off in the background. <laughs> the stench alarm. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of uh, touching of the material, which I'm sure is making the people who work here very happy. How many do you think are going to try to shoplift? Um, I don't know. Because I don't think they have any concept of the alarm systems yeah. in there where if no. you, you know, well, put it down. Goes, your... actually. Yeah, Dan, help us out because <laughs> we need a visual here. What's the deal? Uh, the security uh, following you guys around? Is there a big crowd following Tippy Tom? What's the deal? We, we have uh, a, a good number of pets with every little group here. Okay. So right now we're in it looks like there's been some discussion, and we're going to find another store that perhaps suits their taste a little better. Yeah. Uh, so far, the homeless haven't uh, bought anything yet. No, we're going to find some door where every, uh, store where everything's $8, so. All right, very good. I'll call you when we get there. All right. E-Rock is on the line with Jose, who loves to show his penis in public. Yeah, let Jose. me it out. Or E-Rock, what's up? Hey, man, what's going on? Uh, we're in a bed store, and they're trying out some of those mattresses that uh, kind of fit your form. Yeah. Oh. And they're trying out... Uh, do you like this? Go ahead, go ahead. He's afraid to go on. Go ahead. Are you in Brookstone? No, a uh, place called Dormia. Oh, no, you know this is a bed. He didn't recognize it. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I know it's high. It's a bed. I think it's about $5,000. You can't buy this. He wants to buy the bed. Is it one of those with that space-age foam that kind of wraps around you? Well, the one, one that yeah. Jose's looking at here is the one that it's a mattress, but has, like, the pillow cushioning that's sewn on top of it. Right, the, uh, the pillow, uh, tops. pillow top mattress. Thing. Is he laying down on it? Uh, go ahead. You can lay down on it, you know. Go ahead. Huh? It, don't be afraid of it. You can lay down on it. Go ahead. It's a bed. Go ahead. Oh, just go have on. him lay down on the floor. Right, yeah. There you go. There you go. Is he sleeping already? <laughs> He's probably going to nod out. He wet the bed already. He's pissed it. We, we owe five grand to the place because he pissed the mattress. He's laying down on the mattress. We have four different homeless people trying out beds here. Over on this bed here is uh, Tina and Angel. Oh, yeah. Are you rubbing Start her leg? Fucking. He's giving her five bucks. At the Amex gift card, <laughs> swiping it through her twat. <laughs> he just cuts a like corner off with some scissors. <laughs> hey, hey, they want to talk to you. How do you like the mattress? Uh oh. Hello. We lost the rock. All right. Walk. She uh, ate the phone or something. <laughs> well, so far, so good. Why don't we take a break? There's a also shopping spray. An happening. indoor train. Indoor train. They could all get on the choo choo. I want pictures. <laughs> I think we got a good crew out there. They'll get some fine pictures yeah. from the websites later on today. E Rock is back on the line before we take a break. E Rock. 
Yeah. Hey. All right. Um, apparently, uh, she uh, hit the button on the phone and hung up. Uh-huh. They're trying out different vents right now. Yeah. And apparently, um, the guy who's running the store now is calling his manager. He's not happy that they're in here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's too They bad. just want to shop. Let them touch it. Why does it always have to come down to this? There's poor people not sleeping in the bed. Go ahead, pull the covers up, take a nap. We'll come back. Pull the covers up. Oh no, I thought it was just a bare mattress. There's like sheets and stuff on it. Um, well, there's one sheet that says "Dormy on," uh, like a uh, like a design sheet just for oh, for a look. No. Yeah. He's in the front bed. That looks like it splits in two. With the king. Nice. It kind of does the chromatic thing. Where right, it right, right. Up. Yeah. It's it's the bed that's in the display window, and he's laying in here snuggled in the blanket. <laughs> snuggled. <laughs> All right, let's go. E Rock, stay on the line, but I'm going okay. to uh, sidecar Kenny. Okay. Kenny, what's up? Kenny. Yeah, I'm with Tippy Tom, and I'm with Flavor. Yeah. I just got a really big entourage. Yeah. store called Love Shack. Oh, we're losing them because everyone's cheering his store. It sounded like. It's... Kenny, say that again. We're, we're in a store called Love Shack, which has all the Love Shack, which has what? Yeah. what? They're, they're, they're like, you know, keeping their mark on all the... Oh, man, you're, oh, I you're wish phone's we could hear out there, Kenny. Uh, I've got about an entourage like a people phone Yeah, there's a huge... Uh, well, they are the rock stars of this uh, event. Oh, Love Sack, it's called. Love, Love Sack. Sack. What is it? And, and what, it, what can you get at Love Sack? Love Seats. A love seats? Yeah, to uh, make a love connection. Oh, so they're uh, yeah, what, like a, a couch, like a small couch type yeah. love seat? Yeah, 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 yeah. They they sat on all of them and, and you know oh. locked their territory. Oh, now it just smells like ass. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Guys, this we. Is a- this yeah. is an unbelievable scene here. All right, guys, we haven't prayed in ten minutes. Uh, time for another prayer. Another prayer. Who wants to lead us in prayer? God, if you would please hear our prayer and let this come off uh, without a hitch and without us getting fired. Thank you, O oh Lord and Savior. All right. We're heading for FYE because Grey Wolf wants to buy some music. All right. FYE, okay. All right. For your entertainment, I would gather. Very That's, good. Uh, wow. What is he good? And what does he play it on? Oh, he's got a a, a CD player. I think he has some, yeah. Get him things they could never use, like DVDs. <laughs> you know they don't have a DVD player. Or yeah. soap. Yeah. <laughs> E-Rock. Yeah. What's up? All right, well, uh, Jose invited Angel into the king-size bed, and both of them decided they were going to take a nap. Yeah. And uh, they, they didn't want to get up. Jose doesn't want to get up now. Oh, uh, really? No, that's yeah. going to be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Give one of them five bucks to drink cleaning solution. <laughs> All right, oh, we're getting up now. What do you want to do, man? What's up? Shoes. Angel All right, shoes. get get him to the shoe store. All right. And make him have somebody help measure his feet. That's yeah, right. he needs his feet measured for size and width and everything. All right, Iraq, we're, we're going to let you go for a little bit. All right, I'll talk to you in a bit. Good. No, whole, they haven't bought anything yet. So far. No. They're going to be very smart shoppers, Hope. Let's go uh, to Danny. He's with Tina. Danny, what's hey up? Hey. How are you? Good. We're, uh, I'm here with Tina. We're in New York and Company, and she's picked out some jeans. Okay. And she's looking at some, uh, like, a, like, a, like a jogging suit kind of thing. Okay. Tina, how do you know if those fit? I think you should try them on. I know. My butt ain't that big. I don't know what she just said, but <laughs> yeah, she's. she's uh, she, it is. She, seems to be, she seems to be very, very uh, agitated for some reason. Well, she's, just, she's uh, yeah. Well, yeah, probably. Think of what it would be like for you if someone just dropped you on Mars to walk around. <laughs> You'd be a little agitated too. And then the first, the first place that we brought them to was the mattress store. <laughs> yeah, I know. We got some good audio from there. Uh, well, see now, you bring them to the mattress store. I think um, Ben is bringing his guys to the bar first. That's right. Uh, hey, uh, well, I'm sure we'll, we'll get them. We'll, we'll get them some drinks. I'm sure. Danny. Yeah. Uh, because we're on the other side of this. Obviously, you got to set it up for us. What's the what? What's the scene over there? All right, well, we, we know that there's different crews that have split up, and we have our own group of fans with us. And uh, basically, we're just watching Tina, the homeless lady, just touch everything in the store. Let them touch it. <laughs> just touch it. <laughs> well, they shirts that make it look yeah. sexy. Yeah, yeah she's, she's looking for all solutions. She's picking out, like, sexy V-neck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sexy really stuff. Awful. The right. salespeople are just absolutely repulsed. Yeah, it's going to be great out on the street. We want yeah. some of the pests to call on the show. I want to get their point of view of what's going on over there, too. Absolutely. I will have some uh, I'll have some of my guys give a call. So we got a pretty good audience out there? Absolutely. I mean, the crowd is absolutely it's unbelievable. But no unbelievable. spending yet, huh? 
No, they haven't bought anything. No one's know, committed. Uh, a very discerning uh, shopper. Discerning, yes, well, yes. James, James our, our male homeless guy that we have, he's, he's waiting on underwear. He's not buying a thing until he buys underwear. Underwear first. first. And then is he going to change him uh, right there? Uh, well, he, he, if, if he'd like to. I think he should. There's probably a bathroom somewhere. Usually they're near the food court or something where he can go in the food court. Where I'll, he I'll can make go sure. in and uh, sure change his underwear. <laughs> I will make sure of that. Yeah. They're gonna, the food court people are going to complain. Look, these guys came in. We made a total of $8 today. Because <laughs> everybody else left. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Danny. All right. We'll check in with you a little bit. There Got goes it. Danny. Let's say hi to Chris in New Jersey. Things are moving real fast here. Chris, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Um, so this is the third homeless shopping spree. Uh, wasn't it also the third uh, sex for Sam that got you fired? Yes. <laughs> Good luck, bro. Your mom's box. Oh, oh no. Oh, sir. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's say hi to Andrew in North Carolina. Andrew. Yeah, what up? It's Andrew. What's up? Hey, I was just, uh, I've only been with you guys for about a year since you came on XM. I was wanting to know if you can give us, give us new listeners the outcome of the uh, last shopping spree so we can kind of know what's going on. They actually went uh, very well. There were a couple of stores, uh, a couple of stores during the first one, I think. Yeah. Uh, that, as they saw the homeless coming, shut the big security gates that they shut when they closed the, the mall up. Uh, and they were just taunted by our fans when they did that. All the fans started yelling, uh, let the homeless shop. Yeah. Let the homeless shop. It was but quite a scene. Other that than night. that, they got to shop. They had a great time. Some of them got drunk. That's right. Let's go back to Ben. He's on a carousel with uh, Tippy Tom. <laughs> ben. Hey, guys. I uh, We've got on the horses on the carousel. It's me, Grey Wolf, Tippy Tom, and about 100 of our listeners, and some poor Jewish family that's just mortified. <laughs> 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 Well, this is a great mall. We're having a great time. Gray Will's trying to pull the saddle off the plastic horse because he's an Indian. <laughs> he's trying to set the horse free. Put some paint on his hand and slap the ass. Now it's his. <laughs> Mom's like humping the stupid horse. It's hilarious. That's good. Get him drunk and put him on something that goes round and round. <laughs> Uh, they throw up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <Ben. laughs> All right, ha hey, has anyone bought anything yet? Uh, well, my guys haven't. They've. Uh, we haven't. We, it's been hard moving around. There's such a large group of people with us. So Tippy Tom got some popcorn, but don't give it to him. Yeah. He got popcorn. Grey Wolf. There's actually a musical instrument shop that we're gonna go to next. Oh. Okay. To car, so. Tell him to put his lips on everything. Yeah. Try the woodwind <laughs> instruments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even the guitars. Uh, uh, all right, Ben, anything else? <laughs> ben? All right, I'll go. I, just, I just heard him cackle, and we lost the connection. Dumb cackle. <laughs> Hopefully it means a homeless fell off his horse. <laughs> uh, ben, what's up? What's going on? Hey. I'm with uh, Rudolph and Santa Yeah. at Stephen Perry's. And they're getting the hilarious items such as pants and peacoats. <laughs> what a peacoat. Uh, new meaning to peacoat when they own one. <laughs> what, and that's what they sell at Stephen Barry's, uh, men's clothing? Yeah, this is terribly practical right now. Right. Yeah, that's good for but them. But one of our uh, female listeners wants to take one of our uh, homeless guys onto this uh, 4D experience, which is one of these things where it's like a theater shakes virtual reality where you get in and oh absolutely yeah this is like this is like taking a caveman into outer space <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you've got to do that all right so we'll try to we'll try to get one of those hooked up i'm not sure if they'll be able to call in from it but at least we'll get a review I uh think. yeah afterwards i want to know uh what what the, uh, the experience was like for the homeless hey by the way a lot of people checking in they're just getting off work and they're going to join everyone else at the palisades oh, well, mall and west nyack homeless shopping spree 2005 <laughs> is happening as we speak and uh, the pests are really living up to their name right now because they're just taking non-stop flash photography two feet away from my face yeah that's <laughs> right. wonderful i can't wait to see the pictures uh later tonight Dan, I'm just completely annoyed to be doing this, and that's why I, I love him. Yep. You got it. All right, Dan, thanks. <laughs> I'll call back, bye. Uh, all right. Uh, Scott in Arizona. Scott. Hey, guys, how you doing today? Pretty good, Hi, Scott. Scott. This is absolutely the funniest thing I've ever heard, man. Well, we have uh, the homeless, and they're shopping at a really nice mall right now. In front of, five, I don't even know how many listeners, but I'm hearing five, six hundred listeners. Hundreds right. of listeners joining in. That's right. The festivities. Scott. Hey, what's happening? I'm losing your connection, man. I'm sorry. 
I'm driving. I'm moving today. You guys are great. This is absolutely hysterical. Loving the show, boys. Uh, thank, thank you, sir. sir. And a uh, video of this will be up on uh, Foundry Music. Uh, wait, maybe later tonight or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Yeah, probably tomorrow. Because we got to do this show and then we got to get up to do our morning show tomorrow. Oh, Jesus. Do you? <laughs> what do you think, Something Jimmy? like that. <laughs> All right. I guess we should take a break and uh, yeah. let the homeless settle in and start buying shit. It's the Homeless Shopping Spree 2005 at the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. That's 1000 Palisade Center Drive. Uh, we're live right now. We usually do mornings, but it's uh, 5.05 on the East Coast right now. Okay? PM. Yeah. PM. So if, uh, if that time is matching up right now, you can join us. Yeah. If it didn't match up, then this is a replay. And, uh, don't show up there because you'll look silly. There you go. It's the Opie and Anthony. All right, you're checking out the Homeless Shopping Spree 2005. Everyone's at the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. If you're just getting out of work, you're close by, you might want to check out the festivities. Uh, let's say hi to Dave in Jersey. Dave, you're at the mall? What's up, boys? No, I just left the mall. I got caught up. I'm actually passing it right now. I got caught up with all the pests out there, and they smell, they smell like it's fired cold cuts. They smell like piss and beer. Uh, really? Yeah, this is just the... These aren't the people you brought with you. <laughs> <laughs> just a mess out there today. Yeah. All right, I got it. Uh, it's a mess, and people are horrified. I got to cut you off because Big Kev's on the line, and this is the first we're hearing from Half a Hulk Face. Half a Hulk Face. Big Kev. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm with Spoon and Half a Hulk Face, and we just purchased some fine Timberlands at Foot Locker. Oh, and uh, who, who got those? Uh, both of the gentlemen got a pair, and uh, the crowd was nice enough to chip in and help out. So they were both able to get a nice new pair of Timberland boots. Did they get their feet uh, measured? Uh, Spoon got his feet measured. Uh, Half a whole face uh, didn't deny that. He said he'll he'll just risk it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just slap it against the bottom of his uh, foot. Lord knows what's growing on his foot. Oh, who knows? <laughs> Half a Hulk foot. <laughs> I'll take a size 8 and a size 16. <laughs> so that's the report from the mall. All right. Thank you, Big Kev. That's practical uh, footwear for the winter. Sure. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go to E-Rock. E-Rock. They're, They're coming. Relax. What's hey, wrong? Guys. Problem? Problem, Eric? Yeah. I got Jose and Angel in Foot Locker. Um, we had to get them new socks so we could try on the new shoes. Yeah. So he takes his old socks off, right? And his feet are like literally just rust color coming off the socks. Oh. Right? So he starts scraping his feet and flinging it everywhere. And we're like telling him, no, 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 don't, don't put the new socks on. All right? So he's, he's like, don't touch my feet. I don't want to touch my feet. So we get him to put the new size, uh, the new shoes on. I mean, the new socks on before he tries it on the, the new shoes. So we're waiting for the shoes to come in, and they're haggling with the guy, saying that the shoes are too expensive. It's not a fucking marketplace in Calcutta. It's a fucking mall. He was trying to get a pair of Nikes for $40. And he's saying 90s too expensive, 90s too expensive. So we settled on these uh, black pair of New Balance shoes. I can only imagine these guys too, because we've we've talked to all of them before this. Yeah. All right, I'll pay sixty dollars and give you a blowjob. Yeah. <laughs> so those are the new shoes. All right. So the uh, the guy at Foot Locker brings out a pair of shoes. Yeah. Angel tries on his pair and he loves them. He's walking around showing everybody. Nice. <laughs> Jose puts them on. He looks at it and then looks at the guy and goes, I need a half a size bigger, and he throws them off. Oh, no. So someone is actually going to have to try on those shoes. Yeah. yeah. So we got the new pair now. Jose. Wait a minute, Eric. Yeah. Is there a place that mall that gives pedicures? <laughs> um, there should I, be. I think we saw, we saw a place somewhere back. We can take them over there. All right, they good. want to go to Bath and Body Works next. Oh, very nice. Oh. Get him a pedicure. There's awful things. Oh, God. All right. So we'll take, uh, once he's done trying on his shoes here, we'll take him uh, to get a pedicure. All right, you rock. Thank you. No problem. Let's go to Danny. Uh, Tina is making her first purchase. Danny. Hey, guys. Yeah, Tina just purchased a nice, quaint little outfit, and uh, we had a little uh, a little bit of a, a cringe moment. Uh, when she went to pay with the, uh, the American Express gift card, the cashier asked for her, her phone number, and uh, she, had to pol- she had to politely explain that she didn't have one. Oh. Uh, it was kind of sad. You know. <laughs> That's terrific. That's terrific. Maybe for that split second she was actually a person. She's paying for it. She breaks out that Amex. That's right. And gives it in. And then, uh, what phone number? Oh, oh, that's right. This is going to end in a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, she's actually starting to creep me out because she's kind of muttering to herself. Like, she's not talking to anybody, but her yeah. mouth is moving and her sound's coming out. Yeah, which she did business. during our fucking phone call. Yeah, we didn't get much out of her, so. Hey, what did All she right. purchase? She got an outfit. She got jeans, a shirt, and a, and a, pair, a pair of panties. Ooh, Ooh hot. <laughs> Ask for the old ones. Usually that sounds hot. Yeah, get the old ones. <laughs> no, thanks. Peel them off like a fruit roll-up. Yeah, get the old ones. We'll auction them off. All right, All right Danny, thank well, you. All right. Let's go to right. Ben. He's with Grey Wolf. Ben? Yes. What's up, Ben? We are in a, Grey Wolf and I are in a Native American store, and he is making his first purchase. What, what, what is that called, Grey Wolf? Grey Wolf, what is this that you're buying? Grey Wolf. I don't know. Now there's another Native American guy greeting uh, Grey Wolf at your Indian store. <laughs> it's a dream catcher. He's purchasing a dream Oh, catcher. a dream catcher. What is that nonsense? That's going to be used. His first purchase. By the way, we mortified so many people. A little late for a dream catcher Hold for him, on. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> How about a dream smasher? <laughs> it's, it's fucking shaped like a whiskey bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben, you were saying you're horrifying what? We've been mortifying. It's Mort funny, like, you see, like, these groups of, like, families, and yeah. they'll just look and walk in the other direction. There was, like, these three, like, 12-year-old girls that saw Tippy Tom, and he's yelling, I'm Golden Bones, and they just ran for the hills. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, this is a great turnout. What kind of Indian shop is there in that place? What's the name of it? Uh, what, what's the name of your store, sir? What is it? Native Spirit. It's called Native Spirit. Native Spirit. This mall really does have everything, doesn't it? This mall is unbelievable. Good job to Steve on picking this mall. Man. So, you know when that? have you ever bumped into an Indian Native store? Spirit. Really? <laughs> No, I mean, it's a good sized store, too. It's a large store. So, Grey yeah. Wolf is putting his first purchase. And uh, then we're, now we're going to go look at uh, some musical instruments. All right, very good. So. Thank you, Ben. Okay. Ben's uh, having a really good time with this. Let's say hi to Heather at the mall. Heather? Hello. Listen, you know what? It's a little too quiet here for me. It really is. You've got a few people here, a group of people there, but there's nothing much going on. People are walking around, don't even know what's going on yet. So, it's a very big mall. It is a big mall, but, you know, everyone was supposed to meet at the Ferris wheel. There was one person on the Ferris wheel. Well, one they, one they... little group of you, that was it. You want to co create something? It's in the food court. You have everyone get together and get everyone on it at the same time. And then you're going to... They met outside, and they're already <laughs> in shopping. This woman uh, has no clue what's going on in she there. She just showed up. Someone has, yeah. someone has to listen to that every night. Oh, my God. Blah, blah, she blah, just blah, showed blah, up. Blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, she blah, just blah, showed blah. up. She went to the Ferris wheel. No one's there because everyone went their separate ways. Yeah, how many stories is this mall? It's like three or four levels? Three levels? Three levels sprawling. There's a, there's a ton of people there. Just they're not where Heather is. You think any are going to go to a pottery barn? Ooh. Maybe pick something up from pottery barn? Use all of their money. Joe in Jersey, get him a video game. Hey, guys, how we doing? I want to pony up the credit card here, maybe buy a pair of boots or uh, contribute to the, the group... Uh, the group dining experience, perhaps. Are you at the mall? No, I'm not at the mall. I'm on the road. I figure I owe you one. You had a weak moment two weeks ago, and you gave me tickets to see Disturbed out at the Starland. Oh, okay, cool. So I owe you one. How so was I that show? You. The show was kick-ass. Nice. It was a great show. Very good. I, yeah, I, nice to hook this up. I think the listeners that are at the mall are really helping out the homeless, so I appreciate it. We'll just... Uh, We'll take a rain check on that one. I'm still looking to make good. Thanks, guys. All right, Joe. Yeah. All I right. think uh, half a Hulk face uh, ought to hang out by Baby Gap or Children's Place. <laughs> just just stand there. I'd rather see Angel or Jose mom. hang out there. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever oh, guy right. is more likely to misbehave. <laughs> Get Jose at the children's store. Heather. Yes. What happened? Ah, uh, it's from all you get dead zones. I hate this damn place. Yeah, what were you saying, man? Because you had something good to say. And, uh, Let me tell you. You are great as Sonny's wife, by the way, in Dog Day Afternoon. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I've been here probably, we knew you were coming. My husband and I came here about 1.30. Did a little Christmas shopping. Uh -huh. We ate a little lunch. Doing the poor uh -huh. for you guys. Right. Everyone was supposed that we heard they were going to congregate at the Ferris wheel, which is closed. I guess someone got wind of it, so uh -huh. we figured they'd go, like, to the car. Oh. oh, again, one of those pesky dead spots in the mall she was talking exactly. about. It's a nice one between your ears, you babbling whore. That poor bastard I husband. I guarantee we get a third out of her. Oh, yeah, she'll call back. By the Why? way, I don't understand. We got the news on. The lines 
waiting for trains to get out of uh, New York City right now. Amazing. Uh-oh. Is that a train wait, they're waiting for? Yeah, what? well, the Long Island Railroad you can still use. Wait, that's the 59th Street that's Bridge. That's the 59th Street Bridge, but they're, they're going to another shot down at Penn Station. They're like, I don't know, they're almost like 10 people wide, and the line goes forever to get down into Penn Station to try to leave the city. i got to use that bridge later. Uh, you oh, were, yeah, it's not going to be bad, Aunt, by the time you leave at 7. You might as well just sleep where you're sitting, Aunt. Yeah. By the time you get home, you're going to Who are the turn... lucky people that are able to drive there that are moving? I don't know. TV people, not radio people. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I get up a notch. <laughs> oh, boy, that's going to be a problem. But uh, this transit uh, strike in New York, just a complete nightmare tonight Fucking for everything so many up. people. All right, let's go to Red the Trucker. Red, what's up? What's up, man? After this little shindig here, man, y'all uh, y'all doing good for XM because everybody's going to buy fucking radio now just to see what you guys are up to. <laughs> well, well, that's we got a lot of things that are uh, around the corner for everybody. Oh, man. Well, uh, y'all for everybody. Job, man. <laughs> what the fuck? For everybody. I think the cold medicine is uh, kicking in. Starting to kick in on you <laughs> a little yeah. bit. A little bit. All right, that thorough uh, flu or whatever it's called. Thorough flu. Thorough, <laughs> thorough flu. Opie Voss. I told you it's kicking in. <laughs> thorough flu. Thorough flu. That's when you get usually the flu worse. The thorough flu. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. I, I mixed with some Tylenol PM. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, boy. Fuck you up. That was not smart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was not smart. All right, we're waiting for some of the guys to call back in. Let's go to uh, Sean in Jersey. Sean. Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, didn't Grey Wolf's problem start by his consumption of native spirits? I believe so, yes. yes. <laughs> and the store was native spirits. A little ironic. Mm, sure was. All right. Not entertaining at Not all. Not even a little. Just uh, ironic. Right. Ironic in a boring who cares way. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> all right, we got a, uh, a lull in the action here, waiting for the guys to call back. Mm-hmm. We're getting requests for some of this dumb Christmas stuff, so we'll play one here. It's a quickie. Sure. And then we'll continue with the homeless shopping spree. We're not going to take a break. Don't worry. I like Christmas. It's a uh, ding. Fries are done. Ah, oh, that old fave. Do you know how depressing that was when we were kicked off the air to listen to? Because it just reminded me of the show, that stupid character, the retarded guy with the mouth moving on the computer. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Really bummed me out. Well, there's a lot of DJs across America that play this thing, and they make believe it was theirs. It, this was just something that was on the Internet. Stop. Yeah. Stop trying to make uh, make your listeners think that you're creative. Who in did the this? Public domain. It was just some guy. Some guy in the internet. That's all Nobody it was. Nobody knows who it was. There was a, there there was a show guy. in New York City that claimed that they <sighs> came up with this. It's like, no, you didn't. Stop it. Stop it. Here's Ding Fries are done. No, 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 no. <laughs> that never gets old. The spirit of Christmas. That's right. Let's go to Sidecar Kenny. Kenny. Oh. What's up, Kenny? We're in a music store, and they think Grey Wolf is a rock star because of the entourage he's got with him. It's just hysterical. What kind of uh, CDs is he picking out? I, I don't know. He, he just bought some fucking uh, Rainmaker at this Woo Woo Indian store. It's a right. dream catcher. It's a dream catcher. Everyone knows what that. What the hell is a dream catcher? I don't uh, know. Watch the movie. It's a Stephen King uh, book or something. They're, they're like looking at instruments. Maybe, I don't know, they're going to get him to play a song or something. Oh, really? Yeah, have him play something. Yeah. All right, hold Have on. him play the Tippy Tom song right in the store. Right. Kenny, hold on one second. I'll get right back to you because Danny is in uh, Old Navy and Uh-oh. his guy is trying things on. Danny. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Yeah, James was looking at some sweaters that he liked and uh, he wanted to try it on to make sure he fit. So uh, he took off his, he well, peeled off rather, his uh, the stuff that he was wearing, like a nasty, disgusting coat and a, and a sweatshirt. And he proceeds to drape it over about 50 brand new uh, Old Navy fleeces. <laughs> it's sickening. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Oh, I feel so awful. sorry for the people that have to buy that shit. All right, good. Danny, hold on one second because there's, there's an issue at Hot Topic. Big Kev is on the line with uh, half a Hulk face. Big hey, what's up? What's up, Big Kev? We had a problem uh, in Hot Topic. Yeah. What happened? Uh, what is Hot Topic, first of all? Ha- uh, Hot Topic's kind of a punk store. Uh-huh. And uh, half a whole face, all he wanted was a Black Sabbath T-shirt and uh, uh, some other things. And uh, when the pets came in, they were taking pictures. The, the management kind of freaked out a little bit. They called the police. Ew. And... Uh, yeah, it was a little issue, but everything's fine. We we made the purchase and we're moving on. Oh, okay, well uh, that's uh, a little, you know, odd of the issue. management to have a problem sure. with half a Hulk face wanting to buy some merchandise. Not a shirt, good boy. His money just as good as anyone else's. Absolutely, just yeah. the rest of them isn't. <laughs> <laughs> money fine, not deformed at all. That's it. 
<laughs> All right. I can understand if you try to you know, give him a Ben Franklin with a big face going halfway <laughs> over the bill. But <laughs> We're heading into Models now for some sporting goods. All right, very cool. Thanks, Big Kev. Take care. This is awesome. Let's go to Robin. Sporting goods. Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> well, what kind of uh, athletics are they getting involved in? Let's see. Have a hook face in athletics. So, yeah, uh, what could you come up with there? A fucking hockey yeah. helmet that doesn't fit properly. <laughs> he wears it on the side. He puts it over his lump. Half a helmet. Maybe a boxing glove so they can work the other side of his face. Oh, over. there you go. And swell it up enough. Yeah. Or you can just put it in his cheek so it looks the same. Let's go to Rob, Fat Pennsylvania. Face, idiot. Rob. Yo, guys. What's up? Hey. Hey. Happy birthday, Jane. Thanks, buddy. It's getting overshadowed by the event. Hey, guys. Long time fan. Don't get fucking fired. I don't want to listen to hoo-hoo. I'm not going to get fired, dude. No, please. Jesus, Jesus, Oh, please. yeah, wait, we got to pray Listen again. to this listener. He is a wise listener, Jesus. Please let this uh, homeless shopping spree come off without a hitch. Make it fun. Make it entertaining. Make it a good thing for the homeless and the listeners. And most of all, um, don't let it get us fired, oh, Jesus, our Lord. Amen. 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 Dear God... You don't have the guts to let something go wrong. I double dare Shut you. Shut up! Jesus. Heathen! <laughs> Amen. He'll hear you. There are witches! <laughs> Long Amen. live Allah. God, God stopped Allah. listening when I started going, please let this be a girl. <laughs> Not only stopped listening, he didn't answer that prayer either. <laughs> yeah, no, he knew I didn't mean it. <laughs> All right, let's go back to sidecar. It's more Kenny. like, please don't let anyone find out. <laughs> Kenny! Yeah, you ready for the song? Yeah, uh, I guess Grey Wolf's going to do a little tune here. Yeah, yeah come on, Grey Wolf, hang it. All right, turn it down. We got an amplifier and everything. Ooh. All right. You ready? Hit it. Yep. Come on, while we're young. <laughs> Uh, he's got to tune up. Like Jesus this. Christ, what is he, the Grateful Dead? Yeah. No. Come on. He usually plays rocks. Come on. <laughs> Opening with his hit. About a man. <laughs> oh no, he's still doing it live, man. He was so lonely at night. <laughs> Boys were so rowdy that you could hear it all through the train station. I'm gonna sing this one. This is about to be so dumb. <laughs> Late at night, and I got no home. Money is gone, and so are my friends. And the cop said to me, Hey, you smell bad. Get out of here. And Tommy said, You know, I got an angel, an angel. They'll tell me from the glory grave. It's a sing along. They're all singing. But this is my life. Living in so much. Yeah, 
crowd singing. You're just taking over the mall. Living in so much pain. He's been walking around the city for a while. Still rowdy. As he stands on the street light that night, an angel appears and he just sings a song to him. I need the proof for that one. So the suits in the van. The next morning they find Tommy with a smile on his face. Now it was an angel singing all along. Yeah. He's holding the mic out. Wow. Listen to that ovation. Is that was was Bon Jovi there? Who, no, who Bon was Jovi. That? Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. <laughs> bon Jovi. Oh, yeah, Kenny. Wow. Kenny, how many tears are in how many people's eyes right now? Wow, listen to that. Wow. I hope someone uh, videotaped that. That will be great to check out on the oh, website. Oh, yeah. Now. All right. Good. All right, Kenny, thank you. And the ironic uh, thing is, all those people singing Shelter Me, if he came up to their cars, would say, get away from me, bum, and drive <laughs> Fucking <laughs> bum. They would never have job. Tippy Tommy. Tippy toe Tommy. Let's go to E-Rock. E-Rock. Hey, guys. Hey. I take a little pit stop. I needed to go to the bathroom, so as soon as I walked in, everyone cleared out. And uh, we discovered Angel's underwear has no back. It has a front, but no back. <laughs> <laughs> so he's wearing boxer shorts where it hangs in front of him almost like a uh, like a smock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he just drops his pants and goes. So, <laughs> After, so he goes to the bathroom, and now we're at a place called Against All Odds, and they're trying on um, FUBU coats. Oh, FUBU coats. Very yeah. good. So they got these big black coats with the fur hoods. And uh, what they didn't realize is that they're trying them on. They started to walk away. They had racks outside of the store. Yeah. So we're bringing them in to pay for the coat, and they set off the alarm because there's those little tags on them. <laughs> so Jose starts freaking out, going, no, no, no. He's throwing his old jacket, but we got him under control. And so did we just pay for the jacket? Are we all good now? Yeah. Everything's paid for? Yep. All right. We got their jackets. All right. There you go. It's going to be nice and warm now. Very nice. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go find some other places. They're hungry, so we're going to get them something to eat, too. All right. Thanks, E-Rock. It's cool. No problem. Right. Boo -boo. It's short for fucking bum. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, the phone's just on fire. Donnie, Boston, what's up? What's up, boys? Hey. Hey, Kong replacement. Hey. Where can you pick up the CD of Grey Wolf? Well, uh, now that he's got his second part to that song, we're going to re uh, redo the song. That's now a hit. Got a unplugged version. He's yeah. got to sing it, though. He's talking too much. He's got to sing that second part. Well, like... He's going to get together with Drew Boogie. They'll figure it out. All yep. Right. All right, Donnie. Thanks. It'll be played all over XM. I guarantee that. Dougie F. at the mall. Dougie F. Hey, this is Dougie F. What's going on? Listen, hey. I'm following half a hog face. And I'm found spoon. Some of these people have no clue who these people are. Um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask one of these people over here that are just sitting by the bench. So they know the couple. I'm gonna ask them if they know what the hell's going on here. All right. Hey, how you doing? My name is Doug E.F. Um, I see you guys over here in the mall enjoying the festivities. Did you know a celebrity just walked right by you? Yeah, uh, gentleman just walked right by. That's why everyone's following him. Uh, he was actually used in uh, making another face of the Hulk face. Have you seen the movie Hulk? Well, he was actually one of the people that they used him to make their faces. I'm on the air right now, satellite radio. Anyone want to say anything to anybody out there right now? You good? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, we're good, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah, so Somebody's captivating. Have Thank you, Captivating. Uh, Nick and Philly. Nick? Hey, guys. What's Nothing up? better than going to a listener. Was just, 
Uh, it was unbelievable. Best radio I ever heard. Um, is there a pet store inside that Palisades Mall? Because we got to get one of those guys a puggle. <laughs> yes. That's a great idea. Sure. Oh, the and then watch him eat it. <laughs> <laughs> a look on a spit rotating uh, in some back alley over a fire. And the dog will protest, please. I don't want to go home with this fucking zilch. Breaks out a <laughs> steak knife and a bottle of ketchup. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine that the puggle thing and he's going to a nice warm home and he uh, goes back on the street? Wait a minute, I'm you guys <laughs> on the street. Hey, what the fuck is this? Frigid air? That's my home? <laughs> Let, let's go to Chris in Pennsylvania. Chris. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> Shelter me from this smelly human. <laughs> I'd rather be gassed. <laughs> Uh, let's go to Chris in Pennsylvania. Guys, how you doing? Hey. hey. This is the funniest shit I've heard, like, ever. This is unbelievable. Hey, if I've been there before, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's an outdoor store. You should get them. Let the homeless people take a kayak. Take them to Best Buy. Let them touch a big screen TV. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Get a, no, but it's a, a few, bad call. Yeah, yeah. Get, get a few of the homeless in a in a kayak for a photo op, though. <laughs> let's go to Joe in Texas. Joe. Hey, oh, happy, happy birthday, Jimmy. Thanks, Joe. Hey, it's, uh, I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller. Wah, wah. I just wish I was on the East Coast so I can make my way up there. You guys are doing a great job. I love the show. All right. And, Jimmy, when are you coming to El Paso? i got to work on some more Texas dates, sir. As soon as I figure out the Louis schedule, I'll, I'll get a whole bunch of road stuff. I just booked Albany, by the way. It looks like uh, March or something, so I'm getting on the road a little bit more. Ooh, El Paso. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Punch it up. All, All right. right, there he goes. Uh, this guy just saw a Grey Wolf perform. Hey, uh, Ray, uh, Ray in Jersey, what's up? No, it's, it's Ron in Jersey. I just saw a great one perform, and I'm absolutely crying here. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely crying. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't help it. It's I'm, okay. It's okay. We understand the emotion. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. i got to go. Push it out. <laughs> That's what it's all about. He's standing in front of a like, gray wolf, standing in front of a screen yeah. with like fucking montages of people living in nice houses and going to work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, we should make a oh, video. That'd be great. Damn, <laughs> video of Anthony going home as gray wolf is playing shelter. That's true. <laughs> uh, no, a video of Anthony oh. having someone <laughs> fetch the Escalon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Dick in New Jersey. Hey, Dick. Hey, how you doing? All right. Uh, got a good idea for you. Maybe yeah. you have the homeless guys have a contest in the mall where they go into each store and maybe they have points for having sex with each other. <laughs> All right. You know, with that, we got to pray again. Uh, Anthony, want to lead us in prayer? Uh, Jesus, again, once again, please uh, let this come off without a hitch. Fun, exciting, um, good for the listeners, good for the homeless people. They're getting mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. And most, most important, mm -hmm. please, oh, Jesus, no firing of anybody from the Opie and Anthony didn't show. He, uh, didn't Elo tell us just last week that we get in trouble when we take our show outside the studio? Yes, yes he did. So what do we do? We take the show outside the outside studio. Outside the studio. Uh, yes, you do. Dear God, I hear please let my relationship with Louis C.K. not sour, because I sense things here will sooner or later go awry. I, uh, I hear the numbers just. are growing, by the way, at the mall. It's the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. It's the homeless shopping spree 2005. Yeah. Waiting for the guys to call in again song gives me chill uh, chills every time i hear it. chris in virginia chris hey guys hey. Hey. hey happy birthday little jimmy thanks sweetie. make it fast because uh one of the homeless guys is uh yeah. riding the kitty rides yeah i just want to say i got turned on to you guys on my uh trainer i drive a truck but uh man that gray wolf song every time i hear it dude i get uh like some kind of chill goes through me man i get these little like cold chills man it's killer i'm telling you great. we got a hit on our hands we just gotta uh produce it right oh man i wish you would i drive a truck dude and uh shit, i'm only 22 man but uh dude i love it man it's, it's, it's it rocks all right thank you sir all right man y'all be easy all right Let's go to Gus in Canada. Are you listening uh, on XM Canada or or the American XM, version illegally? XM Canada. XM Canada. That's starting to grow for us. What's up, nice. Gus? Not much, man. You guys are killing me. Driving home in the snowstorm, I'm like getting out here just listening to you guys. You guys are killing me. How much snow are you getting up there? Uh, not much. We got about an inch, inch so far. Yeah, for us, that's like, oh, major snowstorm for our area. Yeah, yeah. Them, it's ah, nothing. What part of Canada, Canada yeah. sir? Uh, just uh, north of Toronto. Fuck Toronto. They beat my Islanders last night Jesus. bad. Yeah, sorry, man. It was, what, 9 He's apologizing. Apologize right. for my hockey team. Thank you, Gus. Hey, thanks, guys. All right, let's go to E-Rock. E-Rock's with Santa. Uh, Santa, the homeless guy. Right, the homeless guy. Not to be confused with the, uh... Yeah. Uh, E-Rock. Hey, guys, we're standing online to get photos taken with Santa. All right. 
It's not too much money, dude. We're paying for it. Don't worry about it. Wait, what's the problem with uh, homeless Santa? He, he thinks it's too expensive because it's like thirty dollars to get a photo with Santa. Oh, make him get a picture. <laughs> we're, we're gonna. Do, we got the money. We're take it out of his money. Take it out of his, gonna... money. <laughs> out of his money. <laughs> See, he's worried it's gonna come out of his. Uh, Tell him cash. It's, it's called tough don't shit. Want, don't <laughs> exactly. worry about it. You'll be fine because we're online here. There's only a couple kids ahead of us, and then we'll take the a photo with Santa. Kids. It's thirty dollars. We got it. It's not too. Why is it too much? Yeah, because then I got What else are you gonna spend it on? Let's do this. You see, yeah. Yeah. Let's buy the pants first. You know what I mean? The guy doesn't want to waste his Eric, thirty bucks. Make sure you guys pay for it. Let him keep his money. No, fuck that. Make Santa pay for his own fucking. No, just tell him that to get him on the lap. Yeah, we'll, we'll buy you pants. This is about getting pay. good radio. <laughs> perfume for some reason. Eric, well, I don't, for some reason, he smells like dog shit. <laughs> for some reason. I can't imagine why he'd want perfume. Yeah, we're Jesus Christ. I don't know why. I'd be surprised if he wanted a mirror. We're, we're going to wait here online. we got a couple people out of us. I'll, I'll come to me in a little bit when they're ready. To By the way, real there. fast, Johnny in San Diego, uh, on instant feedback. Oh, I got it right there. Uh, Opie, you almost said the real Santa, you homo. That's exactly what I was stopping myself from saying. He's mean? with the real Santa. <laughs> yeah. Iraq. Yeah. Are uh, you waiting online? Yeah, we're waiting we, online. We want to uh, talk to Homer Santa in a second, so stay there. But first, we've got to go to Danny. He's with Tina, and she's in Victoria's Secret. And uh, Victoria's oh, Secret, and she's touching nice. everything. Danny. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey. Hey, yeah, Tina found uh, Victoria's Secret. She wants to go inside, and right now she's kind of hovering over, like, the loose panties section where it's, like, you know, five for 20 bucks or whatever. Oh, how did you get this hot job? I don't know, man. I don't know. But, Is she uh, pretty? No. Oh. No, she's atrocious. And uh, <laughs> she has these disgusting, filthy fingernails, and she keeps touching all the panties, and she keeps, like, feeling at the crotches. Like, oh, I don't know, I guess no. the or something. <laughs> and it is absolutely horrific. She's, she's been around here for about 10 minutes, and she's, probably, she's had to have touched the crotches of at least 50 pairs of panties. She's not used point. to having uh, panties with, uh, with a crotch in it. Yeah, she's already changed it. <laughs> <laughs> How long do they take to rot out? <laughs> she already changed into her. <laughs> oh, <that's horrible. laughs> uh, what, Danny? I said she had. Uh, she changed in the bathroom. She put on her brand new outfit that she got <laughs> yeah. at a New York company. So she's looking quite snazzy right now. All right, very good. Thanks, Danny. You got it. Call us back in a couple. Let's uh, go to Ben, who's with Tippy Tom. Ben. Yo. What's up, Ben? What's up, guys? I'm in Abercrombie and Fitch with Tippy Tom, who came in, started dancing. They had some disco on. He started dancing. And then he grabbed the poor, cute little sales girl and gave her a hug. <laughs> she just shrieked like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Poor girl. Oh, yeah. So now uh, Tom is Tom is gonna uh, Tom hasn't purchased anything. I okay? will bought a wah wah pedal at the uh, music store. Nice. So Tom, Tom's looking at uh, t-shirts and coats at the moment. Very good. So, nice close. You got a lot good. of the listeners still following you guys around. Uh, Kenny and I probably have at least a hundred people with us. All right. Very good. So, so the the star. All right, Ben. Thank you. Let's go back to Iraq. He's okay, online right. with the homeless Santa, waiting to get a picture with. Uh, the the real Santa, right? Iraq. Yeah, we're next in line. Okay. They're, uh, they're finishing with the two little girls and a little boy <laughs> that are sitting with Santa right now. Oh, all right. And, um, Schnittdick from Whackbag is uh, picking up the tab on this one. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Very nice of Schnittnick. Schnittdick. <laughs> Very nice of. <laughs> How do you spell <laughs> Schnittdick? <laughs> that's nice. Uh, is homeless Santa happy about this or? Um, I don't have Homeless Santa with me. I have Angel and Jose. Oh, I thought you had Homeless Santa. Yeah. No, he's with Nathaniel. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, they're giving out lollipops and candy canes to the guys. Oh, oh good. That's great. All right. So, uh, we're next now? <clears throat> okay, hold on. We're, we're waiting for the girl to come over to get these guys. <laughs> okay. You all right? You good? We're paying for it. You're going to see Santa. Don't worry about it. All right? What you want me to say for Santa? Yeah. Christmas, dude. No, what you want to drink from? You don't have to say anything to Santa. You know, he got a jelly bean. Jelly bean? Yeah. Santa doesn't have jelly beans. He's got candy canes. He's got candy canes. Candy canes. Yeah. Candy canes, that's all. 
<laughs> retarded, right. so, inane so, conversation is going on here. <laughs> oh, I love it. We got a big crowd sitting here watching, too, and this lady's freaking out. She's like, are all these people getting the phone? They're like, no, these two. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're just waiting. So if you want to go somewhere else, we still got a few minutes. So. The Santa couldn't oh, be are happy. Are you still waiting? Okay, hold on. Let's uh, let's go to Bill at the mall. Bill, what's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Happy hey. birthday, Jimmy. Hey, Bill. Hey, if anybody gets in trouble on this, it's going to be from the uh, past. They're sticking stickers on everything. Oh, Jesus Christ. The O&A stickers are, like, going up on storefront windows and on garbage cans and all over the place. Well, obviously, they're not going to hear us in there. Uh, no. Not too smart. Yeah. No, not too smart. All right. Thank you for that. If you're listening, hey, no problem, please, uh, please try to take the stickers down. Let's go to Nick. He's at the mall next to Santa. Nick? Yeah, hey. What's going on, guys? Hey. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're standing outside of the 4D theater over here. With, and uh, we're about to watch Santa here. On We're, we're allowed to see there's three screens set up, and he's, he's got his uh, 3D glasses on. I guess this thing is going to start bouncing around, but uh, it hasn't started yet. So. Okay, he's next to the homeless Santa guy. Yeah, and, yeah. And you're gonna go on one of those uh, virtual, virtual reality, reality things. Yeah, and actually, oh, it's starting right now. All right. It's a, it just went dark, and uh, so got uh, Santa over here with his glasses on, and he's 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 looking intently at the moment. Right. But uh, you know, I don't know how long it's gonna take for this thing to get going. Okay. So. All right, check it in a few minutes here. I got to go to Dave in New Jersey. He's got a great observation. Dave, what's up? Yeah, I'm at the uh, Palisades Mall. I'm pulling in, and it's a week before Christmas, and they got more cars pulling out of the mall than pulling in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're I don't doubt the it. scene. <laughs> half, half a Hulk face will do that <laughs> during let's the holidays. To, let's go to No Filter Paul. Hi, guys. How you doing? Hey, Paul. What's up? We're in Abercrombie & Fitch. We have uh, Kippy Comedy flying on $300 coats and trying to get $100 off the crowd. They're all throwing money at him. It's really, really great. Everybody's just giving him money all over the place. Great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the listeners gonna... are very generous when we do this, by the way. Yes. Thanks yeah, to everyone what? that uh, gave the homeless money this year. Thank God the homeless don't have satellite radio because he'd be robbed so quickly <laughs> out on the streets. All right, Paul, thanks. No problem, buddy. We're going, going back to Iraq, who's getting a picture with Santa with uh, some of his guys. Iraq? Yeah, um, they're sitting down right now and they're taking their photo with Santa. Thank you so much. And uh, let's see how it looks. Is that a, are you waving a gang sign? What are you doing? <laughs> a gang? What gang could he be a part of? I don't know. He did something with his fingers, right? Like he's posing with Santa, like he's posing on a curb. All right, so that's the final photo there. Hey, it looks pretty good. All right. 30 bucks. Yeah. Uh, that, that package is $40, so. Oof, that's steep. How much to have Stan, Santa's uniform dry cleaned? That guy's staying right over there. Filthy ass was on it. <laughs> he's, he's paying for it right over oh. there. His dreams come true for this day. He's paying all day. Did you talk to Santa? Did you ask him for something for Christmas? Yeah, I got the sneaker. I just need the sneaker. Yeah. I love the sneaker. But you bought the sneakers. Where did you ask Santa for Christmas? Uh, a bunch of, I don't know, I, give me hell, give you hell, <laughs> get to 2006, get to 2006, and get out, you know, I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> He's asking Santa okay. these things. <laughs> he, has, he has Santa so he doesn't go to jail. All right. Oh, Questions okay. he should be asking his parole officer. <laughs> He's asking Santa. Anything else he rock? Uh, Angel, what'd you have, Santa? I have Santa to, to, you know, leave me this Christmas, be like now. Let it be Christmas now? Yeah. It is Christmas now. <laughs> oh, then it happened before I asked Santa. You got Santa. It happened before I asked Santa. So you got Christmas before you asked Santa, and then you asked Santa for it to be Christmas. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's probably for you guys, too. Oh, fucking uh, retard. Nice and circular, you dope. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thanks, E-Rock. No problem. All right, bye. Let's uh, let's go to uh, I don't know Big uh, Big Dick uh, McGee Big Dick, what's up, boys? Hey, I just want to tell y'all this is Radio Gold, man. This is more entertaining than anything I've ever heard y'all do. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, we have just begun. We, we're doing a good thing. Is yeah, what it is. of course we are. Aren't we wonderful? Bob in Jersey wants to correct Jimmy. Bob, what's up? Hey, hey guys, how's it going? Hey, hey, I just want to correct Jimmy on that FUBU. That stands for Farmers Used to Buy Us. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Jesus. 
right. oh, wow. That was, was fucking good. funny, man. All right. <laughs> Our black underground listeners are not happy right now. <laughs> That is funny. They're heading to the Underground Railroad once again. Uh, who's this? Ben? Who's on the phone? Hey, it's Ben. What's up, guys? What's up, Ben? ben? Tom, Tom's got a $300 coat, so he got his $202 from uh, XM, and uh, the listeners here have been nice enough to chip in the extra 100 bucks. It's wow. a nice jacket, so hopefully Tom doesn't get the shit case out of him in a couple of days. Oh, he will. That's what happened last time. <laughs> yeah, this would be a good time to tell uh, the listeners all over the country what happens to the homeless after this uh, homeless after shopping, this shopping spree. spree. Basically, they go back to living on the streets and uh, they get beat up. <laughs> Most of their stuff is taken. Yeah, they go out with brand new stuff, and uh, Tom had his jacket taken. Ziggy got beat up for his stuff. What a fucking dope Tom is. He's got like X amount of money to spend. Instead of buying socks and underwear, he buys a fucking smoking jacket with little elbow patches. <laughs> I'm a novelist. Yeah. You're not hosting Masterpiece Theater, idiot. You're shitting your pants outdoors. <laughs> hey, uh, Ben, you guys got to get out of the mall before the end of uh, the show, right? All right. Yeah, get these guys shopping. Thanks, Ben. The guy could get, for 200 bucks and then the extra 100 that the listeners are throwing in, he could get everything he needs, the underwear, yeah. socks, shoes, pants, shirts, and a jacket. And he opts for fucking one jacket for three hundred dollars. Danny, yo, what's up, guys? Hey, everybody, I'm on the air. Everybody, say hello. Oh. Hey. Yo, we're standing outside the 4D theater, staring at Santa Claus on the black, on the uh, night shop monitor as he's sitting in there in the 4D movie. Oh, the hey, sweet, hey. hey, if you're listening to me at home. This is hysterical. My wife is going to buy him a Santa suit to compliment the rest of the hat. Oh, he's going to be in a Santa suit? Oh, uh, we're going to load him up full dress. All right, Danny, thanks for the help today. <laughs> Let's go to Jesus in Texas. Jesus. Hey, man, what's going on? Uh, oh, or Jesus. Just, want, yeah, Jesus, Jesus. I just want to let you guys know that not even Howard Stern and his prime was this good. You guys are good, man. All right. Thank, Thank you. you, Jesus, my friend. Yeah. Take it easy, man. You all pop. All right. Let's I go to Paul in New York. I thought it was Jesus returning uh, our prayer. That's what I was hoping for. Paul, New York, what's up? Hey, what's going on, boys? What's up? Ah, uh, we're hanging out with Santa Claus. Everybody say hey again. Hey. 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 <laughs> we're here with Danny. I guess he just gave me the update. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. No worries. We'll move on to Canada then and say hi to Bruce. Bruce, what's up? Hey, you fuckers. What's up? I'm laughing my ass off. I pissed myself twice already, Jimmy. Too bad you're not here. It's like the homeless. Ooh. It's like a tribute to the homeless. <laughs> <All right. Yeah. laughs> Listen, I've been listening to you guys for years, always illegally, so I can finally get you legally. I was in Seattle that day that you got cut off that fucking... Let's go to Finn. Hey, Finn, what's up? <laughs> uh, Wild. Finn, what's up? Uh, we're currently enjoying the 4D movie. What's the 4D movie? It's the... Movie where it's like 3D, but the seat moves. Are you in it? Yeah. <laughs> you sound fucking thrilled, man. <laughs> it, uh, I, I didn't even Santa is completely underwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> even his homeless guy is. What is it? It's just, it's like a wraparound screen. Uh huh. And, uh, you know, you have 3D goggles on. And then there, a cat meowed at us and it sprayed water on our face. So those are some of the effects we're experiencing right now. <laughs> Is it a movie about three dumb white guys in a car listening to rap music? <laughs> Why, Jim, whatever do you mean? Holy shit. You are the perfect guy to have in this shit ride. Yeah. <laughs> um, now the seats move or? Yeah. Can't you tell that I'm just... I just got jolted heavily. Yeah, you sound like you're really being bounced around there, Than. Oh, look, a ghoul. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, and the thing is, I doubt I'm ruining it for anybody by talking through the entire thing. <laughs> no. Now, how many people uh, are in there with you? We got about ten, but most of them are, are friendly folk. And Santa uh, is enjoying it? I mean, what... what... Santa... Ooh. Santa, what do you think of the movie so far? There's mumbles of indifference. <laughs> <laughs> mumbles of indifference. <laughs> we, uh, in the first five seconds, oh, 
just got squirted again. <laughs> that's actually not the movie. That's him. He's pissing on you. <laughs> oh, she's trying to grab oh. me. You can't grab me. You're just a computer-generated image. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, within five seconds, there's a guy driving in a car, and all Santa can say is his headlight should be on. Uh, so Sam is pointing out safety hazards yeah. in the uh, movie. Very good. All, All right, yeah. Yeah. Well, you enjoy. Bravo. Maybe Tom yeah. can go in there and Grey Wolf can say, Shelter me from the spraying 4D screen. <laughs> <laughs> no, Too really many crash. words again. You're right. And an awful concept. Uh, E-Rock equals... <laughs> Hey guys, we're in um, a perfume cologne store where uh, on one side we have Angel uh, trying on, I believe it's Polo Blue. Yeah. And he's haggling, of course, over the price. And on the other side here, we have Jose hitting on the girls at the cosmetic counter. At the perfume counter. What are you talking to them about? What are you trying to get? I'm sweating right here on me. What is he asking for? He's perfume for a what? Perfume for a what? He's, he's trying to buy perfume for his ex wife. Jesus. <laughs> How about sending her an alimony payment? That would be nice. I don't know <laughs> you don't know what kind? Did you smell any of them? Yeah, what do you buy a girl? You're choked. <laughs> what scent does she like? Anything but Jose by Chanel. Sentia de Wende. And how much is that? They're beautiful. $45. $45. What do you really want Jose? All right, he's trying out perfumes for his ex-wife, but he's like, wanted to, he's also asking her which one she likes to buy it for her, too, the lady behind the counter. Oh, nice. She wants to buy you perfume. Uh, she's she is not looking amused. Beautiful. He's blowing kisses to her now. You like her? Yeah, you know it'll be jerking off. Uh, All right, E-Rock. All right, thank you. Thank you. Let's go to Jason in Florida. Jason. O and A. Hey, listen, guys. I've only I've I've been listening for about a week. Yeah, I've had the worst week of my life because I work in retail and it's Christmas and it's horrible. Oh, this is absolutely the most brilliant thing I've ever heard. It's very enjoyable and it helps, doesn't it? I tell you, it does. It's it's the joy of my drive home getting to listen to you guys and. Uh, the reality is we don't give a shit. If this not helps. at all. To me, this bitch should be ended by everything they bought being taken away and burned in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> a big old bonfire in the parking lot. That's uh, right. Including the stuff they brought with them. <laughs> Got out their undershorts. With the, Stupid. Make a go at it. A couple of people mad at XM because of what Than said about the movie. Said uh, a ghoul in the 4D movie thing again. Bob Edwards being promoted before you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Look, you guys are brilliant. I'm punching out. Bye, fella. All right, thank you. It's the ONA virus, and it's spreading across America. Yes. Ah, wow. I guess we could take a quick break. I was coming for my audition today, and I was happy to be on 31st Street, and I saw in the daytime that thing on the side of the garden. And that's something. Fantastic. What and, uh, the seven-story uh, banner of? Yeah. Opie Anthony and uh, Opie and Anthony. <laughs> That's the way it should yeah, be. Yeah, I know. That's perfect. Not enough room on there for 80 people. Keep it simple. Unfortunately, the telephoto lens didn't go 3,000 miles to take your fucking picture. That's, That's right. That's the way it should be. That's right. It was nice to see both of you now with heads actually the size of Ben's. <laughs> <laughs> you, you mean both of us together? Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, what does Sacramento have today, Dan? Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, fucking miss you guys so much for the last couple of years. I was a, just a fucking loyal listener, and I just wanted to say it's great here in the homeless uh, shopping spree again. Uh, I also wanted to let you guys know when my shitty company uh, laid me off, I plastered my company car with wow stickers. Wait, can I interrupt uh, to answer Opie's question? Uh, the answer is nothing. <laughs> hey, uh, happy birthday, by the way, Jimmy. And also, are you ever going to do another show out here in Sacramento, man? Yes, I am, actually. I'm probably going to book a little theater out there and in San Francisco within the next few months. Yes, sir. Oh, right on, dude. I can't. I saw you last time you played. Phil in Alabama. <laughs> Phil, what's up? Man, more than equals more gooder. I love Than, man. I love his dry wit. Yes. I love his sarcasm. It's excellent. That motherfucker got me laughing so hard, I think I threw out my fucking back, man. <laughs> All right. Last week, Big A at Twitchell gets me to fucking shit myself, and now fans got me throwing out my back. Wait for our betting show. We're going to have a, a betting show in the very near future. Yeah. High stakes cool. betting on the Opie and Anthony show. Look at the size of Big A's head. 
on uh, the camera. Big A just checked into our little camera room. Okay. And I punched up his uh, his video. Yeah. His head takes up the entire frame. It's awful. And, and that's actually shot from the Hubble. <laughs> yeah. And he's sitting in what appears to be the the set of The Godfather, the uh, office. He's got that old button tucked chair. <laughs> like that uh -oh. chair is from 1955. He's petting a dead child. <laughs> uh oh, big Kev. Why so do you want me to help you when you have not shown me a friendship? Sorry, I I'm interrupting because there's a situation at Old Navy. Situation. Uh oh, big Kev. Uh, yeah, hey guys. Hey. Uh, our guy Spoon was buying a pair of jeans, and apparently, uh, although I cannot confirm this. Uh, apparently, uh, it is known that they have cards with a limited amount of money on it, and the cashier seems to have accidentally overrung him for one pair of jeans in the amount of $110 and change. Oh, no. So now, even if they unring it, the card is used. Yeah. Like so he'll get a credit mailed to his address? <laughs> and wow. uh, as you can imagine, the salesperson is, uh, is more than helpful with such things. I don't even know how I did that. And so, I don't know. Well, tell her maybe if she stopped eating with her hands and typing with her toes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, right, Those right, fucking right now, tal painted uh, talons she has for nails probably on the uh, cash register yeah. keys. Clip your fucking nails. Yeah, tell old fucking horsetail hairdo to fucking just cough up some cash in the register and Old Navy will, will cover it. Wow, that's funny, Jim. It's just like you're here because that's exactly a great definition. Uh, Explanation of uh, what the salesperson looked like. Why do black chicks feel like they need to play fucking high lie with their fingernails? <laughs> <laughs> they, they cut the fucking things. They could be long and painted. Why Nosferatu they... rang us up. <laughs> wow. Why do they ring people up with their feet? Oh, that's great. <laughs> ben. <laughs> All right. All right, take care. Ah, King Kong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's him. That's all, only, only you know what can do that. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Way to go. We Little got, uh, <laughs> we're trying to go to break, but the phones are just, they keep popping in, man. Dave in Jersey. Dave? Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey. Hey, man. Oh, I cannot wait until Jose's riding home on that bus, smelling that women's perfume and cranking one out in the back. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it's for. We're surprised he hasn't exposed perfume. himself yet. He could probably just buy, like, panties, women's perfume, maybe a wig, and just, like, dump it in a pile in front of him, spray it with the perfume, and just jack away on it. Just go to town. <laughs> Mandy from Old Town. Bring it on, brother. Old Town. <laughs> hey, guys. Happy birthday, Jimmy. I just want to say, this is the funniest shit I have ever fucking heard. I cannot believe this. I had a lousy day, and to hear you guys on the radio doing this shit at Christmas is a riot. If you're just tuning in, this show will be available on audible.com. Yes. Audible.com for all your Opie and Anthony listening uh, pleasures. Hey, Doug, who's the... Uh, Thank you, Mandy. Who's the pretty girl with you? What are you talking... What are you I'm doing? I'm looking at Doug out Doug's picture. Oh, with that hot on chick Pal he takes. Oh. And now it's, uh, he's got like a girl in, in the frame with him. But he's shaking his head, no, are you going to get in trouble? <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, yeah, pal, just... pal talk for anybody. I might have blown up his spot. You might have blown up his spot is right. Uh, Try to find the room. Let's go to Ben. Hey, Ben. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Here's a, here's a fucking shocker. We're at the bar. <laughs> ah, there we go. Me, Tippy Tom, Grey Wolf, and about 50 of our listeners. So, yeah, we're, we're clearing out the bar fast. What, what bar are you at, Ben? We are at, uh, what are we at? What's the name of the place? Fox Grill. The Fox Sports Grill upstairs at the mall. And what are the, uh, what are the guys uh, enjoying? Grey Wolf ordered the biggest glass of whiskey he could get. And whiskey. Tom is still deciding. He's, he's very excited about the high-end scotches here. He hasn't had a good scotch in 10 years. Yeah, see, now this, this to anybody else, you know, you think it's just a homeless guy at a bar somewhere and he'd get a drink. They, they drink shit out on the streets. Uh, to be able to now pull into a high-class joint and uh, order some nice uh, scotch, pretty good stuff. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. All right, guys. We'll check in a little bit. All right. Thanks, Ben. Bye, bye, bye. Hopefully, want, uh, hopefully these guys... Uh, you hear that, right? Ben couldn't say, I want uh, directly <laughs> right. enough. I want a Guinness. Sure Guinness yeah. followed yeah. that. I want yeah. a Guinness. <laughs> yeah, having a great time. We'll talk to you later. God damn, I'm getting yeah. a drink. Talk to you later. I want this funnels in my mouth. Just pour out of that. <laughs> the hair of the dog that bit me, Lloyd. <laughs> the hair of the homeless guy that bit me. <laughs> Your uh, money's no good here, Mr. Sp I'm a tight man. Like Who's buying his drinks? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> a uh, sidecar caddy also at the bar. Sidecar. Ah. Yeah, yeah, we're at the Fox Girl on the fourth floor. You got 200 people belling up to the bar, slamming cocktails. Wow. Very good. This friggin' mall should thank their lucky stars, especially some of the bars in there. People don't usually go Christmas shopping. Maybe a couple of the husbands hang out at the bar while the wives go shopping and stuff. But to have uh, a turnout like that... Man, That's amazing. 200 people up there drinking. Most bars have to have Ben Sparks walk in there to see that kind of revenue. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's buying drinks for Tippy Tom and Grey Wolf. Tippy Tom just bought a $300 coat at Abercrombie and Fitch. Yeah, we heard about that. Everybody was throwing money at him for the extra 100 That's, That's awesome. great. That coat's going to be removed with a fist by midnight. Oh, forget about it. <laughs> Uh, sidecar, you got to be the responsible one and get all these guys back on the bus before the show ends. Yeah, we're going to rendezvous 630 to start heading back. All right. Hey, does Scotchgard make something for urine? Perhaps his coat <laughs> ought to be uh, sprayed with that. <laughs> all right, how, how, how's it going? Very good. Very good. All right, all right cool. I'll call you in a few minutes. All right, let's go to April in New York. Kenny's no good at stretching. No. no. Ah, how's it going? Ah, he ah, hears a little ah, bit of uh, dead ah, air. Mall. Which is fine yeah. for, for everybody. You're deciding what calls to take, and he panics. He locked ha, it right ha. back. Ha ha. How's that counter holding up in studio? Hamna, hamna. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> April. Big frightening man. Hi. Hey, April. How are you? Good. What's up? Good. I just want to tell you that I love a show, and I'm in my boyfriend's car trying to go Christmas shopping, but I can't get out of the fucking car. Because the show's on. Oh, she's oh, got to listen. Oh, Very cool. nice. We're she, helping. She talks like she just burned her mouth with scalding liquid. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, I'm in the car. I'm going. No, I'm I teasing, I April. Please don't, like stop no, right, Please don't stop listening to us. No, I'm kidding. I'm glad you called. Have an ice cube, you cock piece. All right, we should step aside, take a break, take leaks. <laughs> All right. It's the Homeless Shopping Spree 2005. It's going great. Um, People loving it. Really fast. Speaking of Christmas, my brother still has a few shirts left. Oh, there you go. Your brother. Yes. And if uh, if you order probably today or tomorrow, you could get in time for Christmas. They'll mail you know it right what? to you. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, does he have a website? MyRadioStore.com. Well, that's Ziggy's site that's selling the shirts, and also uh -huh. the link is on OpieAnthony.com. Because I will add it to my MySpace slash Anthony Cumia uh, thing under my shameless plug banners that I have. Cool. And, and they're actually plugs for other people, not just my own whore fucking plugs lined up in a row that you have to scroll through uh, ad nauseum like somebody else we know in this room. With a MySpace account. Don, what are you doing with MySpace? I share. <laughs> you know the despicable shit I'm talking about is you. Well, I, I, you know what it is. Yeah. When, when, like, you need to make some money, mm -hmm. and you're not making the big bucks, Isn't you gotta hustle a little bit. Hustle. And um, so I gotta thank okay. Ope's brother, by the way, who designed the uh, these coming soon Monster Rain shirts, which people have been asking. I for. want one of these. I used uh, Ope's brother did a fantastic My brother does job. A great job. Yeah, he really does. They, they will be available, by the way, in Philly New Year's Eve. I'm premiering them. All right. Uh, Opie and Anthony t-shirts for Christmas. Go to opianthony.com. And by the way, the MySpace money that I told you I was going to mail out, $50 to every person that goes on MySpace, um, is on the way. Um, I may have forgotten to put stamps on it. <laughs> a lying sack of shit. <laughs> uh, let's go to Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Hey, man. Uh, you got a lot of fans out there, by the way. Oh, yeah? Yes. We got Rudolph and Santa... They're enjoying the Palisades Express. What's that? It's a train for children. It goes about 10 feet and then turns around, and then goes 10 feet and turns around again. <laughs> but they're having a great time. Dan can't wait to get out of there. Oh, my God. <laughs> I cannot wait to come we're, home. We're getting video of the event, hopefully. Yeah. Um, Rudolph is just sitting in the front twitching. <laughs> Stan is giving a peace sign and holding up his, uh, will accept money for pot sign. It's really gotten out of control here. As <laughs> out of control. You can tell. I can tell yeah. in your voice. All right, then. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll call in. To hopefully, maybe never. All right. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Brother Joe with a little Christmas ditty as we go to break. It's the Homeless Shopping Spree 2005. <laughs> You're checking out the Opie and Anthony program on XM Satellite Radio. The ONA virus spreading across America. We're very happy about that. Uh, Strawman, what's up? 
Hey man, I went holiday shopping today looking for an XM gift card. It took me three stores to find one that wasn't didn't have them all sold out. Oh really? Yeah. And uh, I was listening to one of the customer service guys explain the difference between XM and Sirius to the customers. The basic work it down to was Sirius has Howard, but XM has Opie and Anthony. And most people online had the OP had the uh, XM gift cards in line. I was in too. Oh, that's good news. Thanks, Straw Man. No problem. All right, we got to go to uh, Rob in Jersey. Rob, what's up? Rob, let's go. It's speed uh, round time. Speed round. Rob. Hey, listen, guys. There's less than an hour left in the show, and yeah. the bums are showing up at the bar. Yeah, I let's know. Pray. Just let's like pray. last time, I think. Exactly. And, and the let's guys pray. aren't calling in as much all of a sudden. Carrie in Pennsylvania. Hey. Hey, hey. guys. How are you? What's up, Carrie? I wanted, I wanted to know, are you guys going to be at Lil Jimmy's show in Philly on New Year's? I will be at Jim Norton's New Year's Eve oh, show at cool. the Tower Ooh. Theater in PA. Good. In good awesome. old Philadelphia. Excellent. Oh, I'm so excited. That's great. Uh, by today. the way, I need about 12 tickets, Jimmy. That's fine. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and I'm going to go to dinner with Anthony I want on, on, on uh, Christmas. I want to go with Christmas? Uh, you're going? Yeah, I want yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone's invited. Let's you doing anything for Christmas? I will be in uh, Philly. Philly for Christmas. I pretty much live in Philly now. You're doing that whole deal. Uh, Big Cab, what's up? Hey, uh, I'm with Half a Hulk Face. We uh, just finished getting some CDs at FYE, and we're now in the Fox Sports Bar. Uh, all of our homeless are lined up at the bar having a having a nice festive drink. <laughs> oh, cool. That won't go badly. Hey, why didn't uh, why didn't somebody take Hulk to get a makeover or something? Uh, Scott didn't want one. We, uh, no. we encouraged him uh, to maybe get a haircut, maybe some. Uh, some other things. Uh, that Scott has a real attitude. I gotta First tell of you. all, yeah. he'd uh, rather go to the bar and get half shit faced. <laughs> <laughs> He's all <very> shit tumored. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call him Scott again, by the way. That's not his name. Right. No one knows it. It's half a Hulk face. Exactly. It's right. almost half as good looking as trying to get Dennis. <laughs> Stop trying to get to know him, Kev. Yeah. Half a Hulk face. He's a is thing. A very, very <laughs> Did you take him to one? of those learning stores to get a map of the country and pins? <laughs> yeah. Maybe no, actually, that would can accepted. cry when he drops dead. <laughs> Some pillows to prop his head up while he yeah. sleeps. Take him to the ballet and watch all the British aristocrats give him a standing ovation in black and white. <laughs> My favorite part of the Elephant Man was when he got was when he got a shaving kit and he's fucking combing that awful head oh. and he dabs a little cologne daintily onto his neck. <laughs> Behind Try each tumor. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Trying to be a man about town, and then the locals come in and humiliate him. Oh. All right. Now, Tries to run a brush over that cotton Thank you, candy. Big <laughs> Let's go to old, old cauliflower skull. Oh. Old corning fiberglass insula insulation head. <laughs> I can't say insulation. That's a tough one after yeah. corning and fiberglass. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Let's go to bunted camel toe. Ooh. Hello, boys. What's Hi. up, bunted camel toe? Tina stumbled off the bus, and she's in Chili's, and she's been here for five minutes, already on her second Long Island iced tea. Just finished her second Long Island iced tea. It's going to be a long ride back Holy to New York. Holy shit. <laughs> How used to those could she be? Not very, All I right. say. Thank you. Let's go to Vinny on Long Island. Vinny? Hey, afternoon, gentlemen. You too, Jimmy. How are you? Hi, Vinny. You guys are making a perfect case as to why you should go back to the afternoon drive. This is a great show, boys. Yeah, but this is one of those <laughs> special shows, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they could all be special if you just come back to the afternoon rush. All right. It ain't happening. <laughs> no. Well, let's, let's, let's hear him out, Oak. <laughs> you know what the odd thing is? I was thinking I, afternoons, I remember uh, uh, waking up, and um, I kind of forgot because I, I did it today. I woke up at noon, and I was still laying there going... Oh, motherfucker, I just want to sleep. <laughs> I, I don't think it would matter. I was still almost late coming here. Right, yeah, uh, yeah. I left at 2.40, and I luckily <laughs> caught a cab with some escaped war criminal and uh, got here at like 5 to 3. We are just lazy assholes. We're shit. Thanks for the help with the prep for the show. Jimmy. I did prep. Jesus. I was home prepping. We're running around panicking, wondering where the bus is and everything prepping. else. And you're... Taking a nice little no, walk. No, Opie, I had an audition, and then I had to prep at home. I did the home stuff you told me to do. <laughs> yeah, Carol. Remember you said jerk off until it's almost time to leave? <laughs> <laughs> Carol in Indiana. Carol. That's what yeah. I heard. Hey, Carol. Oh, man. Anthony, you made me laugh so hard when you were talking about half a Hulk face getting uh, half shit face yeah, that yeah. I, I lost a bong hit. 
Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you had more weed. I, of course I do. I, yeah. I love this show today because it's uh, do a killer line, <laughs> then go to the phones and have people comment uh, comment on our killer comment, lines. and then yeah, it's a little different today because it's a special occasion. Comment, killer line, comment, compliment, <laughs> killer line, comment, compliment. <laughs> I like that. They're all at the bar now. All right, let's go to Ben. Ben. Hey, guys. Hey, Ben. Uh, I don't know if the rest of our, uh, our homeless have made their way to the bar that we're in. Uh, half of our face just showed up. He's down at some Jack and Cokes and uh, a total, total mess. Gray Wolf! Gray Wolf is a star. I'm telling yep. you right now, man. Tippy Tom has asked me if we could do this every week. <laughs> yeah, of course. Good I am, 200. He wants a fucking paycheck is what he wants. Yeah, 300 bucks a week. I'm negotiating the golden buns goes on strike. We should do this every week until it turns out that, like, there's two people at the mall and no one cares. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And then we just savagely beat them in the back alley. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, this is good. This is a good one. Is yeah. Good. I'm a little jealous. This sounds like a party. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, It won't smell like one on the ride home. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's when it gets ugly. It's a party slash portage on that fell on top of you. <laughs> ben, a lot of people taking pictures and video of this? Yeah, yeah. There's so much stuff. There's so many pictures uh, and so many video cameras. And it's, it's, uh, it's going to look fun when we put it all together afterwards. So. All right. Thanks, Ben. And you know what the ironic part is? Is these guys also have their phone. And they're calling into a radio show, and right now, uh, half a whole face is calling and going, Look, I'm trying to get him to buy baby wipes for his ass, but he's not catching the hint. And Ben's guy is calling in. Oh. He's supposed to be a producer, but he's been drunk since 240. <laughs> <laughs> We're just a mess of a show. I'm surprised we have any listeners. You know that? It's miraculous we pull this Every off. Every day we pull this crap off. Vinny at the mall, what's up? Yeah, buddy. It's fucking awesome here, man. Yes. Yo, Sounds you know, it. I mean, uh, it's good for the business, actually. It's yeah. Not, they don't want them here. It's everywhere they go, people buy shit. Slow down, sir, and make one riveting point at the time. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, was that awful? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's very cold out, and I forgot where I've parked my car. <laughs> yeah, great. Gives a flying fuck. Yeah, but he was like, when the more people go there, the more people that buy stuff. He was like Eric Logan without the pizzazz and enthusiasm, <laughs> if that's possible. Rich in Indiana. <laughs> Oh, guys, you're fucking killing me. This uh, is the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. And I can't even imagine what you could think could possibly go wrong, man, because these guys drunk in a, in a mall. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong, well, man. everyone thinks it's awesome, but I have one guy on the line that doesn't think it's awesome. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Than, everyone. Than. No. Than. Right. Hey. Well, like all good homeless shopping sprees, we've now managed to end up at a bar. You're at the bar, too. Uh, same bar as the rest of the guys? Yeah. That's wow. just the ultimate we've given up. And uh, everybody's sitting around drinking. That's great. They're going to name, uh, rename the place the P.T. Barnum Bar. <laughs> no. 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 Well, because it's so <laughs> full of... <laughs> oh. All right. I'll... Well, hold on. Yeah. I was trying to tie some type of a freak show thing into it. But that wasn't it. I heard him, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Night on a dog, Alex. Shelter me from the bombing joke. <laughs> go ahead, go and leave. Leave, I've pardoned you. I've been pardoned, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> All right, then, any other observations? <laughs> white, uh, white shorts. Unfortunately, no. Nothing's right. really going on except drinking. Right. You know what I hope happens? I hope this ends with only Nathaniel getting arrested. <laughs> Are you guys going to head to the bus soon? Yeah, I think so. All right, thanks, then. Yep. Let, let's go to Sidecar Kenny. Sidecar. Hey, what's up? What's up? We're at the bar. Everybody wants to say happy birthday to Little Kitty. You ready? Yeah. Happy Yay, there they go. Thank you. The hook, you, you can't understand. Have, you. Uh, ha have all the guys bought stuff? I mean, if you guys are at the bar, yeah, I'm figuring they've spent uh, a lot of their money. Uh, they bought yeah. things that are going to be useful. Yeah, but your fans are the greatest. They're in the holiday spirit. They're just throwing money at these bums. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, keep the cop is not on me, but he overcharged somebody uh, uh, like a hundred bucks. So yeah, he, yeah, he kind of voided up. that guy's card out, and uh, that's got to be taken care of. Or yeah, not, I don't care. I really. say you just give him a receipt and say, deal with it on your own and get back up here after the holidays. <laughs> Smelly. Yeah, yeah. We'll mail you a new gift card in four to six weeks. <laughs> Address. <laughs> yeah, that means that what they tell the post guy is just drive down the road and throw it out whenever you feel fit. <laughs> Why? How did I bomb on How did I fucking butcher that line? What you tell the post guy is you drive down the road. <laughs> My joke and your joke will uh, be on the next homeless shopping spree. <laughs> Dude, I fucking... Stinking messes. I Shut said, up. You throw it out the window right. when you feel fit. Yeah. I was, I'm going to try to wrap this up. <laughs> All right, Sidecar is uh, going to round up the troops and get them back on the bus. Yeah, hopefully i got to get him out of this bar. So we'll call you when we get on the bus. Good uh, luck. Thank you, sir. Let's go to Mark in New York. Mark? Hey, I'm telling you guys, I am never going to fucking shop at that mall again. You're never going to be able to get the shit dick smell off. Call hazmat. Oh, boy. Never again. You never. It's going to have to air out for two or three weeks now. He's trying. The 11, let me give you a little word of advice. Yeah. When you fire out all the energy, and, and a, a, not only do you swing, but you swing so hard you pull a back muscle, <laughs> <laughs> don't recock the bat and go for the same ball. You're not going to hit us. Punch it out. <laughs> you can't punch out. It's flaming jet exactly. fuel in a hole That's and right. your skeleton Just in the middle. Just walk back to the dugout, <laughs> humiliated and dejected. Closed casket. You're in the water in Miami. I don't want his oh. mother to hear him. Just, oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'd like to watch any of them punch out. All right, Rob, Memphis, what's up? Hey, man, I just wanted to thank you guys for making me waste the rest of my XM subscription. I, I don't take it off this channel. You guys are killing me. Oh, cool. Thanks. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. Hey, man. Hey, Jimmy, uh, happy birthday and fuck off. Thanks, fella. Oh. Godspeed, and uh, I appreciate that. I guess we're going to have to rerun this show. We should rerun this on uh, Friday, I guess, when we're off. Is that possible? Sure. We should rerun the homeless shopping spree this Friday. Why not? Ooh. For the people that, uh, people that might have Make that happen, it. all right? Can How about tomorrow, happen? too, so we can sleep late? No How shit. about tomorrow morning? How about tomorrow morning? We take tomorrow off. I just think now homeless we're shopping spree week. Mike, Michigan. <laughs> Hey, how you doing, guys? Hey. Love the show. New bit for you. Homeless happy hour. Homeless happy hour. That's what's going on now. The, the one we were working on, and, and it never came uh, through or whatever, was um, uh, take the homeless bowling. Yeah? We want to do the homeless bowling thing and homeless bedding. That'd be nice. We got to take them out, give them a little life. Yeah. Notice no one is calling from our show. They're all just at the bar. They've given up on the bit. Well, they're yeah. all drunks. Uh, Dave in Jersey. Dave? Hey, guys, how you doing? Uh, pretty good. I was just wondering, doesn't everyone look like half a Hulk face when they smell Big Kev? Oh, Jesus. Ooh. You know, oh. uh, we just, uh, you know, brought up, uh, up uh, a few things early in the show, and it doesn't mean you have to uh, dwell on it, sir. The point has been made, and... Uh, the solution will uh, be um, uh, at uh, hand and uh, Wow, instead of a no, sir, they don't. It's uh, we made that point already. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, guys. Way to go, out. friend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, just in case nobody figured that out. <laughs> you know what we could do? We could take a quick break. Oh, I think they're uh, rounding them up right now, and they're going to head toward the bus in moments. So. Good luck getting them out of the bar. Fucking, oh, if, if God and, and, and leaving family members haven't been able to do that, well, they should think you can. <laughs> <laughs> the whole reason they're in the street, Opie. <laughs> Let's get them out of the bar. Have to drive the bus through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just going to see if we can get them in a college. And a, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Can we break? Yeah? Sure. All right. It's the Opie and Anthony. Ah, uh, it's the Homeless Shopping Spree 2005. Everyone's at the bar. It's been a great afternoon of radio. And they should be heading toward the uh, bus, hopefully. Keith the cop. We haven't heard from him all afternoon. No. Keith? Keith, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Everybody out here, we're just getting ready to load everybody back on the bus. We had a great time today. Everybody! Big departure.
Total success. Everybody's real happy. Tippy Tom, did you have a good time today? Uh-oh. 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 Uh-o
Recocking, not right. not cock, but the fact that you can cock again. He you likes. can cock. That it we, made perfect sense. We got to gotta get some of the guys on the phone, Picking Ben people. and uh, the rest of them. Let's say hi to Paul on Long Island. Paul, Paul, pick. Hey guys, the minute these guys leave that bar, like fully full up, they hit that fucking call there and off the piss at the same time. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, it's gonna be a it's nightmare. A it's gonna be a nightmare ride back to the city for these guys. All right, boys, punch uh, it out. All right, Paul. Where's Ben or Kenny? We're waiting for them to call yeah. back. Definitely Did we call them? Get them? Huh? Did we call them? We're trying. Yeah, we're to call trying. Them. We're trying. But uh, do you hear how fun like Iraq's e e having a, a great time? Yeah. We're gonna. We're up on the fourth floor. Like he's as far away from the yeah. bus as possible. We're here on the fourth. <laughs> we're on the roof. Yes. Uh, you know the door shut behind us and locked. But we're having a good time. Like he has no clue. That that fucking bus is leaving. There's no clue we're about to leave him at the mall with two homeless people. <laughs> oh, my God. This will be the most pissed off person you're ever, ever going to hear. Who are you on the phone? But he doesn't listen or pay attention. No. So it's his own fault. Ben. Ben. Hey. Uh, we just left Eric at the mall. Yeah. E-Rock is at the uh, the bar. Oh, good. Well, he's going to have a nice nice time. It's, he's going to re reminisce about the Stones concert, Giant Stadium, when, when you and I said, fuck him, and left him. <laughs> yeah, we, t we told him to just go up to the bar that everyone's hanging out up there, so he's uh, headed that way. We didn't tell him you guys were leaving. Oh, good. We're all on the bus, and we are pulling out of the bus. <laughs> They're pulling out. Let me tell you something. Danny and Nathaniel couldn't be happier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they could be if they were Derek and fucking uh, and, and, uh, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> and Sam's back. Oh, yeah, they're they're laughing their asses off. Yeah, well, uh, it's his own fault. He doesn't listen. Fuck him. He doesn't pay attention. <laughs> He's, it's like the show is going to be over in ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes. And the guy is like, well, we're here on the fourth floor. Not knowing, doesn't he know how these shows work? We like wrapping things up. Like, get them on the bus, and they're gone, and maybe a little conversation That's from right. the bus, and the show's over. Well, Opie said we're, finish it. we're extending it a half hour, which poor, poor, poor Eric. But he didn't even, he, you, you didn't even have to say that, and no. he still would have been, well, we're hanging out. Like, look at your fucking watch. We always go for the perfect ending. The bus fades away, and so right. the show for the day. It's like a story. It needs a beginning, Absolutely. a middle, and an ending, and, and he's just wandering around. Well, right. Ben, did you guys pull out already? Uh, yeah, we're we're almost out of the mall. We're out of the mall parking lot, and we're about to go through a light and like get onto the. Get oh, onto so you're the, actually uh, driving? Oh, oh yeah, dude. Oh my! This is not God, a radio this bit. This is, is this is what these guys do. Going to this shit. This is what these guys do. Go, 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 go. Here's this roommate trying to get on. Go. We don't know who that is. Go, 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 go. This stupid roommate. Who? <laughs> Did you go? It's the wrong bus. Go, go. <laughs> they're, they're, they're ditching people. It's his, it's his roommate that looks like a child molester. <laughs> there he comes. Hey, man, sorry. We, we didn't realize that was you. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be all good when Eric finds out he, we fucking left him. <laughs> you don't give a fuck about him? <laughs> Did you left the roommate on the bus? But yeah, unfortunately, yeah. That's but he fine. Doesn't, he doesn't even realize that Eric's not even on the bus. How did he find your bus? Where, 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 where Dude, are you? He, we, listen, his roommate came running up, and we are pulling away. And, and we just pulled right away. We pulled away, and he chased us half the, halfway across the fucking mall. So it's halfway yeah. across the parking lot. So. The fun part so. is Ben just yelled, don't open the door. We don't know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go. Nice work, Lou. Go, hang on, go, go, go. Going to Manhattan. And guys, we're taking, we're going through the light, and we are off. Oh, he is fucked. You know, the funny thing is, is like, you know, so many of the guys on the staff, it's like, if this was Derek and Nathaniel wouldn't let it happen, or if it was Danny, Nathaniel wouldn't let it happen, but it's Eric, and they all just hate him, so, you know. It's, 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 Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. I think it was funny when Ben said a minute ago, fuck him. Yeah. And he meant it. Wait, let's go, totally. to, let's go to Sarge from Whackbag. Sarge. Yeah, the quote of the day has to go to Ben when that patrol car was behind the bus. And he goes, this is legal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very good. All right, let's go to Jay in Connecticut. Jay. What's going on, guys? Hey. Happy birthday, each other. Cheers. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm a jock up here in Connecticut. And this is fucking radio gold. All right. Uh, well, feel free to uh, take it. Oh, no, dude, dude. I'm not going to steal it from you. You guys are like, this is the reason why radio on XM is... <laughs> oh, B. I knew that was coming.
Thank you, sir. That was nice. Uh, Can we get E-Rock on the phone? With Ben. Is Ben, you still here? Yeah, I'm there. Would you be, would you be afraid to tell E-Rock where you are? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good. We'll put him together. All right, we'll get an E-Rock on the line, hopefully. Hey, Eric. Uh, he's not on yet. Jesus, not on yet. hold well, on, Ernest. Look, eager. <laughs> look how eager he is to fuck him over. Man. I know, it's the operator. They're all bus cheering. They're all psyched. They're all like, fuck him. Look. They're all just like... <laughs> all right, let's go to Russell as we get uh, Eric on the phone. Russell. Hey, how you doing? Hey, good, Russell. What's up? Uh, I learned that uh, O and A are the true pioneers of radio, and the cashiers at Old Navy have to use their Brazil nuts to ring up sales on the cash register. Oh, uh, yeah. Very good, buddy. Uh there was a lot of great lines. I like the high lie, uh, line myself. <laughs> <laughs> I like that line a lot. I found it to be racist and insensitive. Hey, me too. Huh? Well, I oh. said it. Uh, we got E Rock on the line. E Rock. Yo. Where are you, buddy? Up, man? We're on the bus. He just fucking got on the bus. Oh. oh man. How did? How the fuck did that happen? I don't know, dude. We're we're fucking like on the. Uh, e Rock. Yeah. yeah. Ben was gonna leave you. Yeah, I'm sure it was Ben. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm serious. We we said, look, man, you can't leave E-Rock. He works hard for the show, and Ben's like, fuck E-Rock. Well, yeah, the show's going to 7.30. I'd buy that. Yeah. <laughs> that might have been his cue to run out the door. Open. Well, how did you get back to the bus? Ben said it took off. According to Ben, you guys were fucking over the GW. <laughs> I don't know how to found him. I guess he found us, but this What's going on? What, what's happening? He... Yeah, we were we were out, completely out of the parking lot. We were pretty much on like the the beginning of the highway to get out of the place, and he found us. He began running it up. I bet you it was this creepy roommate that told us where we were. Yeah. <laughs> All right, no. listen, listen. We we got to wrap this up. So, any uh, observations from you guys? Uh, best homeless shopping spree ever. Best homeless shopping spree ever. Who said that? Yo, creepy material like fun. Are you guys on a speakerphone? We can't hear you, really. No, we're here. It's just hard to hear with the delay. Oh, so, E-Rock, what's, uh, what's your observations? Shut up, Danny. Um, Ooh. Oh, hey. It was fun. Why are you out of breath? Running for the bus, Kenny. So, thanks, guys. All right, pass the phone around. Yeah, pass the phone around. Sidecar. Kenny. Hello? There he is. You got the phone? Yeah, I got the phone now. All right. Uh, any uh, observations? It, it's hard to hear you. It's hard to hear us. All right. Everyone have no, a good time. I hear you now. Everyone have a good time? Yeah, I tell you, it's it's undescribably for words. What went on there? Yeah. All right. And the listeners had a good time. They got a lot of video and pictures they're going to yeah, send to us. Yeah, it was incredible the way everybody was shopping and the way everybody was uh, walking around. Yeah. It, it was amazing. It was an overwhelming experience. Ask the homeless if they had a good time. Oh, yeah. Hey, did you bomb from a good time? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, all the tippy time was dancing through the whole mall. Yeah. Anytime, like, music was playing. Yeah. And they, they, did, they did good. And, Kenny, there were no problems? No, everybody was very orderly. The security uh, left you alone? Yeah, yeah, like uh, I stopped him, I charmed him a little bit. The cops up here were terrific, they're big fans of the show. It was just that state trooper that was driving to come out, I had his nuts in a knot. Yeah, all right. Anybody else have anything? I don't know. E-Rock, you want to talk some more? Okay. He's got to catch his breath. <laughs> <laughs> catch right, it and watch we'll it. Call you a few minutes and update you. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're running out of show, so call back before we leave. Yeah. All well, right. Maybe I want to play Spill in the Bottle with that homeless broad. Uh, all right there, uh, Kenny. Thanks, Kenny. <laughs> cool. Let's say hi to Dan in Virginia. Dan? Yo, what's up, guys? Hey. Yo, I got what I learned. Oh, yeah, let's play that. Yeah, uh, what smells worse, the homeless, Big Kev's fat skin, or E-Rock's breath? Oh, boy. Punching out. Wow. That's, uh, oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, boy. Ken in Florida. Yo, O&A, Jimmy, I love you, brother. Yes. Hey, I learned that uh, niggers were bought by farmers. Oh, oh gosh. Sure. <laughs> That's not how it was said. No. <laughs> Doug in Ohio. Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey. Hey, uh, Jimmy, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Dude, this is going to go down in history. It's probably the funniest fucking show that I have ever heard in my life. <laughs> bless you, Anthony. God, God bless you. Oh, my gosh. 
All right, thank you. Tell your friends oh. about the Opie and Anthony show. Oh, That's man, I, I already have, man. Three subscribers already. Uh, I'm not in Mansfield. <laughs> what a prick, yeah, Opie. Hey, let me no mistake about it. Hoo hoo, O and A are back. Uh, you guys fucking rock. All right, coming soon to the show, our betting show. Yes. We, we just got to figure out more bets uh, with the people that are around us. We ha really haven't figured out some good We haven't figured out good ones yet, have well, we? Well, the one Tourette's one is, uh, you know, that started it all. That's the biggie, but now, now we got we want to build a whole show around that. Other bets. Other bets that we could do mm -hmm. with, like, Big A and Starker Patty and No Filter Paul. Maybe some new people we can dig up. Maybe new people, sure. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be high-stakes betting on the show in the very near future. You can play along at Ooh. home as well. Mike in Jersey, what's up? Go. Happy birthday, little Jimmy. Nice. What I learned today was homeless shopping spree equals homeless happy hour. Mm. Cool. Right. More H's. There you go. Let's say hi to Bernie in Montana. Bernie. Hey, hey guys. Uh, for some inexplicable reason, everybody at the Opie and Anthony show hates E-Rock. I like E-Rock. I like oh, E-Rock, too. Of course. Well, he's Hawk to me. He's E-Rock to everyone else. I like E-Rock. I don't love him, but I like him. My girlfriend likes E-Rock. My family likes E-Rock. Of course. He's a genuine article. <laughs> he really is. He's as stupid as you think he is. <laughs> Who's going to count down the show without him? We could just be talking, and, and the show's going to show Anyone off. can put their hand up at the wrong time. <laughs> What's so hard about that? When there's eight seconds left, put up 13 fingers. And that's uh, uh, whose job? Uh, Travis. We're going to have to get into the whole E-Rock thing and see why these people don't like him. I don't know either. Yeah, I think where does that they, come from? I like the E-Rock. Is I, it jealousy? Uh, the guy works really hard. Maybe because he's like in his late 20s and he still dresses and looks like he's four. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Ryan in Philly. Ryan. Hey, boys. Hey. I learned that Big Kev smells as bad as the homeless and doesn't know it. I wish oh, I could boy. quit you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm. Oh, boy. So we got to do a show tomorrow morning? Yeah, that's going to be fun. This is like bedtime now. I don't I'm mind. usually in bed. I'm going to go eat with uh, little Jimmy Norton. Want to go eat? <sighs> okay. You want to go eat, Ant, and let the traffic... Uh... Let the traffic what? It'll, 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 it's gonna go you can't go at 7 o'clock. Nah, the traffic ain't going to go away. He's just going to like deal with it, right? Trudge it out. Oh, going to be sidewalks and medians the whole way. Dude, you're going to hear give We should give him a recorder. Can you record no, I'm, I'm, I'm too exhausted. You don't even have to curse. You could just go, here it is, and this is where I am at this time, so we know you are. It doesn't have to be funny. Could just yeah. Be, yeah, why not? It'd be interesting to hear tomorrow morning how it took you nine hours to get home. How what you're going to do is go home, shit, wipe your crack, and get back in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Thanks. You need My an crack. Uh, you need an assist from the NYPD tomorrow morning. Oh, I need a uh, an escort. You definitely need something. I hear you. Well, because we got a transit <laughs> <laughs> we got a transit strike here in New York City. The deal is uh, before five uh, after five in the morning, you have to have four people in your car to come into the New York City. Between five a.m. and eleven a.m., you need you four need four people in your car to come not only come into the city. There are, like, major roads, the expressway, uh, the, the uh, BQE, like all roads outside in Queens and Brooklyn, parts of the Belt Parkway that you're not allowed on. They sh throw you out, right. turn you around. I wouldn't turn around. I would fucking tell them, I'm going through. I have something in my trunk. Let's not get into it. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll go, okay, sir. Well, actually, we didn't mean you to. go through, sir. They were interviewing some silly people that had no idea the strike was going on today. That's what I couldn't believe. I don't know how many people I saw going, I got to the tunnel, and they said, you got to turn around. And I'm like, what? I did I'm watching TV going, who, who didn't know? I'll be honest, dude. I wouldn't have known either if I wasn't in the 21st century with some <laughs> sort of technology. Something, anything. <laughs> You could be in the 1800s and have their technology. It's called newspapers on the streets. It's it's a neighbor. Extra, extra. Anything. Extra, extra. Uh, strike. Excuse me, stupid big A. Could you not just have half your face on the screen, you psychopath? Does that look What a fucking kook he looks like. It's half his head. And it's still bigger than everyone else's whole head. Yeah. By the way, people are trying to figure out this webcam thing that you decide to set up out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, it's a little underground. It's a little underground right now. It's a little right underground now. right now. you got to kind of know it's somebody. A, Papa Goulash is fucking his cat as we speak. See, it's not just people being able to look into us. We could pop up their little cameras. And now some girl is taking the cat away. Uh, yeah. yeah, and it's uh, we just popped one up here, and you can kind of see what's going on. And I here. fell in love with a gal. Yes. Hey, do you got one for the office for tomorrow? 
Uh, yeah. We're, we're going to set one up one. in the office as we're sitting around just uh, preparing for the show. Yeah. And then we'll leave the camera on so you can just see Ben staring at his computer for four straight hours when we're doing the show. And just highlighting text. Highlighting text, yeah. highlighting <laughs> text <laughs> and then clicking off of it and highlighting it again. Talking what? into his cell phone that's upside down. I don't know. A webcam coming to the office in the very near yes. future. Let's go to Jim in Illinois. Jim, what's up? Hey, I want to uh, say uh, happy birthday to little Jimmy. Yeah. And, uh... I learned that uh, three hundred dollars buys you a punch in the face by midnight. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's, there's the uh, end of there's show music. The music. Chris in Cleveland. What, what's up, Chris? Yeah, I learned today that Bum Jovi had an appearance at the mall. That was the highlight, I think. I can't wait to see that video clip. A lot of videos oh. going to go up on OpianAnthony.com. Pictures going to be sent in by the listeners. We should have some great stuff to check out later on today or tomorrow. Jason in Ohio. Jason. Yeah, I learned that I need to start praying to God. <laughs> All right. What, what are you guys looking at? Uh, what are you looking at? Titties. They have to be 34 double Ds. Titties on the screen. Are those 34 double Ds? Holy mackerel. Are they fantastic? 34 double Ds? No? You want to type in what they are? 36 D? What are they? 36 Ds. Yep. Wow. 36 D. She sure uh, showed them. I'll say. They were fucking hefty looking ones. Oh, people are saying hi to Opie, who's, Opie, who's finally peeked around the corner. Yeah. We're going to get a couple of cameras in here, so we could get a couple of different views. Yeah. We should get one for under the desk, so you <laughs> can fucking view clear stuff leaking down my socks as I look at that wow, big rack. Oh, look. There Holy shit. Those are fantastic. Oh, would oh. I like to take her out for a cappuccino. Oh, look, we got another one up top. Uh... Look at the size of that tit. That's Big A's head. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to dig up Big A's yard. He looks like a real, real pro. Look at that. Not even an expression change. Like a no. fucking large Asian. <laughs> I think we're out of here. How many seconds we got left? Yeah. We don't even know? No. Uh, Steve, could you take see? the awful pens out of your car? That's what Eric does. Let's, uh, let's go to John. John, what's up? Yo. Hey. I learned today that the pests smell like piss and beer. You, 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 punch it out. All right. I want to thank everybody that helped us out with the homeless shopping spree. Keep sure. the cops, Sidecar Kenny. A uh, bunch of other guys that don't want their names uh, said. Ben and Clark. alcohol for causing the people to be homeless to begin with. Don Wicklund, <laughs> Steve, and the rest of the gang here on the Opie and Anthony Show. See you tomorrow morning.